So I'd like to call this meeting to order. So, okay. okay. All right, so the first uh, order of business, continuing business, is uh, the budget update. Mm -hmm. So where do we stand on that? I feel like the last time we met. Um, so in front of you, um, Carol and I just about finished the budget presentation. So this is what we um, currently have, and Jesus. we wanted to go through it with you guys. So please mark up, state anything that you would like to see change. So if you want to quickly go through it page by page. Yeah. Um, the first page starts with the mission and vision of our schools. Then our objectives. So we've talked about class sizes, maintaining current quality of general and special education, continuously to grow and improve educational offerings, mentioning the necessary repairs and services needed in meeting the social and emotional needs of our students. Stop me as I go. Yep. And then we go into how did we build the budget this year. The first step we did was build a level service budget. Um, we begin with the current year's budget, adjusted accordingly to the estimated year-end spending. Then we added new expenditures and savings for the next fiscal year. Emphasizing that our school has very little discretionary funding. We have mainly contractual salaries and benefits. Our special education, we're obligated with tuition and transportation. In operation and, man and maintenance, we have our service contracts, utilities, supplies, and equipment. Then mentioning how our revenues can fluctuate, especially with the Department of Ed, our revolving and our grants. Can we, Nancy, and yep. I know you have it in this one too, can we on that special ed tuition and transportation put a dollar amount right there? Yes, but wait for okay. two pages. Sure thing. And then if you I still want it, let me know. Okay. I'll explain why in a sec. Okay, thank you. So then the next we talk about um, adding in the above level service. Mm -hmm and then the capital needs. We have building repairs, updates, and IT support needs yeah. that need to be updated or haven't been addressed. Yeah. Um, and then I said, as you will see in our presentation, these needs impact the safety, well-being of our students, faculty, staff, and entire community. This is where you'll see the special. Yep. So then I go over the challenges. So the challenge we have encountered are the special education out of district tuitions so we've had a 71 projected increase for fiscal year 24. This is 907,000 of increases in out of district tuitions only. Wait, so can I ask real quick? Yes. So how many kids, so that's 71% projected increase for fiscal year 24. Mm -hmm. That's attributable to how many kids that are now going out of, what do we have, like a couple extra kids going out of district? Yeah, I have it broken out. We can, we can definitely add that in. I think it's, I think it's six, but we'll do, I'll double check it as we go. Additional students from last year plus increase in those costs in general. Definitely increase yeah. in the cost. That's I get that because increase we talked in about that and now. Additional students. Yep. Right, and we, and we need to explain. I think that's a huge point. I think um, having the number of additional yeah. students in there. Would sure. Paint a good picture. Sure. Yes, because I just think all having the number of students total. Mm -hmm. Right. I would say in fiscal year twenty three we only had this many and now we have this many, but also the point that you had brought up about. Here's my. You don't want to call kids out. Yeah. I get well, nervous. Not by name or grade or even school. I know, but just the, we have... Because a million dollars just to pay to send small, kids out. Right? So if you have an increase of 500000 and it's from a small town, people... I don't know. Just... I, see I just want to protect. Do you yeah. know what I'm saying? I mean, I know one of them. I see you, your point. So I get what you're saying. So maybe yeah. not the increase in kids, but just the total number of students that represents, because it is a small number. Total but a yes. huge amount okay. of budget, that's fine. That's going to paint no, a picture to people like, listen, right. we're not making these rules. Right. I mean, we don't make these rules. Right. We don't yeah. make the decision on whether right. they can stay or go. Right. It's yeah. out of our hands. I mean, we need to emphasize this. This is a, this this is is a big one. This is ridiculous. <laughs> and like, it's also the know. severity of the situation where like right. a child can't, is needs such high needs that their needs are, you know, like we had so many questions at the Berlin FinCon meeting. They're like, well... You know, like, I, how would this happen? Like, what? why can't you just hire a nurse to be in the school? And yeah. it was like, yeah. no, like, equipment, like, schooling. Yeah, right. You don't understand. Well, Janelle spoke it's such to that high point needs. a little bit. There's some things we can do if we get the additional positions we're asking right. for. Yeah. It won't take care of all of this, but it's possible it would be less if 
we got some other things. Some other things. Right. right. Yep. I mean, it's a year by year tonight, basis. By the way, she's yeah. going to join us at the meeting tonight with the FinCon. But I think if people I understand, can't that's on Zoom. people have to understand the number. Yeah, they're trying to make that permanent. Actually, they have to understand the number of the percent of the population, or maybe just the percent number mm -hmm. of the mm -hmm. student population, or something. Sure. Okay. If you don't want to, you know, if you can't yeah. identify, yeah, yeah. Total number of you know, like it's yes. What is it? It's probably only like two or three percent, right? One, right? Yeah. Well, right. Janelle said one to two percent when she presented wherever we were. She said it was so. like one to two percent, and that's average. One to two percent of the population. It's a seven percent increase. Yeah. Seventy in the budget. One percent, seventy-one percent. The right? whole special yeah. education yeah, yeah. budget combined with the tuition and everything else is one point two million increase. Just that alone, increase. For special ed. Wow. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And we're asking and for like a two point something increase, yeah. so that's half of our increase. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. Yep. Yeah. And so, so half of our and, increase. And I maybe think I should add point, that, which is blank blank percent half of our, of our increase. increase. In that's the great. other point, I think people don't understand. No, you, you did that. It's 7% oh, of our did. overall. Okay. Yeah. Nancy, you yeah. got that, girl. This is 7% <laughs> of, of our overall, overall 15% budget yeah. Okay, increase. good. But 1.2 so million is half of the <laughs> increase that we're asking for, right? Mm -hmm. Are we asking for an additional 2, if you look at the number, you're asking for an additional 2.7, right? Right. And 1.2 1. 1. 2 is, special is ed. close to 40% of that 2.7. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and, and the other point I would make is, you know, and I'm like explaining this to my husband, so that, this is why I'm... This is not like we feel like doing this. This wow. is state mandated. Yeah, so what, we that's have my question. To do that. If we don't pay this, what happens? So what? Who cares? What happens? We have to apply for DESI emergency yeah. funding. That's okay. what FinCon so told what? us. So what? Let's do that. So yeah. what? Well, who cares? You want to apply for DESI emergency funding? That's going to pop your that's going to pop your town so right back to the so what? Tell me what's going to happen. Prices. So who cares? I don't own a home. Tell me what happens. Wait, I don't know what that means. Yeah, yeah, I'm wondering. No, what? I'm, <laughs> making, <laughs> I'm making the argument. What's the answer? No, he is. I never does. What's the answer? I don't know. Then I fund don't know. it. Yeah, I don't know. Through DESI emergency funding or through? I don't even. Budget? So the de what? Where are you getting my, this DESI emergency my, funding, Christina? I have no idea. From Bur from Christina. the FinCom meeting. Was it in Berlin or Boylston? You tell oh, about it was extraordinary. Claims it, was, it was the woman circuit breaker. Is that what you're talking about? It, I don't know what she's you? It was the no. It was at the meeting in Boylston when the state rep and it was Kennedy and Kilcoyne were there. Yeah. And I think oh, I, I asked or somebody asked, what happens if we don't get this money for special needs? And I think one of them said when one of I think it was Meg Kilcoyne, and we can get clar clarification before. I thought she said, if, okay, I remember what it was. I said, okay, so we were talking about the process. Remember when the lawyer was saying uh, the whole yes, process, like yes. it goes through this and then it goes to the vote and the school committee yes. does this. And again, he was wrong on that because remember he talked to us after the meeting. So I think yes. nobody really knows. But mm -hmm. he, it was around that point in time. And I said, so what happens if it goes down and then they're going to give us our 2% increase and it doesn't cover the special needs that we absolutely have to do mandated by the state? What do we do then if we don't physically don't have that money to do the state mandates? And I think it was Meg Kilcoyne said, you'd have to apply for a DESI emergency relief to cover... I've never heard of that. So, I don't know. So what do you know? So right, I, so don't, I thought know. that's what I heard. So Nancy, Look at, uh, I think if people don't want to fund a 71% increase, a $1.2 million increase... They have what to. Happens? They have Says to. who? Well, then we cut teachers. I mean, or okay. you, that's what it who comes down to. Who do you want to cut? To. Yeah. Right. Well, right, that's, that's what it comes that's down to. This to you that have conversation. to. Okay. Right, right. Well, that's, so that's, the, that's, that's the answer. That's the answer. That's the answer. Yeah, that's right. the answer. But if you I don't, don't have kids in awful. school. Right. Yeah. Okay, I don't, that's the answer. I will we double check on that. Special I ed. I thought we were Desi talking about specific I think she's ed. talking about extraordinary I guess the budget relief in general. from Circuit Breaker. Oh, maybe that's what Which is different. Which is not a lot. Which will never cover this. Mm. Oh, it won't I cover will it. double check, yeah. but mm, I've never heard of it. I think that's what you mean. Yeah. I thought that she said something about Desi would ha you'd have to apply for some type of emergency it relief. It was the word relief. It was. It but had to be the extraordinary relief. Right. right. I can't. I don't know. I'll look into it. I just I'll remember we said but. exactly that. What happens? Because you can't. 
at a certain point to cover 1.2 million dollars cutting two teachers isn't going to make 1.2 million dollars mm -hmm. right yeah, you're going like to have you're not going to physically have enough staff in the school to run the school safely the school will have to so i thought that they were saying mm -hmm. but i could be wrong so i don't know mm -hmm. all right that, that's, that Anyways, but, but this is a I didn't mean to get off. Uh, yeah, we got. We need to but have. this is the way people are thinking, though. I mean, there, this is other towns. I'm seeing on Facebook now towns are pushing for these votes. Yep. Mm -hmm. I, I've seen multiple towns. Yep. They're pushing for these votes, mm -hmm. and it's parents because they don't have the funding, and they, like to your point, they're gonna have they're making cuts, and they don't have enough. Yeah, yeah. it's happening everywhere. So it's very, everywhere. very common. So our health. Um, broker called so it's actually a 10.5% increase and I had 10 in there so I increased it by 5% oh my God. Um, and then I put in how our supply costs, utilities, electricity and heating are increasing by 10 to 15% and our support services are increasing by approximately 10% and that's in line with the uh, grocery prices so yeah what do you want to do so we started off um with our district wide. So district wide we're at a two point seven million dollar increase at fifteen percent. And I broke it out by the normal categories that are broken out for you at school committee. This is the entire budget. This is the entire budget okay. altogether. Mm -hmm. As you can see, out of district tuitions are seventy one percent. That is a huge chunk of yep. our Yep. Budget. Wow. Instruction wow. support special. That's the paras that we're asking for the seven percent increase. Mm -hmm. The paras, the teachers' contract increases yeah. that are mandatory. Pretty much everybody but administration. Yeah, that's yep. salaries. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's how many new heads? It's the three paras. We have yep. a couple we'll new heads of, each all right. individually, but yeah, yeah. It's heads yep. and it's salary increase. So then we want to start it. Start. We'll start. We'll go through each school. So we'll start with Berlin. 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 I, I just thought I did it right. No, so did. Can, you, can I tell you what I think about? You're doing great. I even in the car yesterday, my husband and I are proud. He's like Berlin. I'm like, this is what we're doing on a car ride. <laughs> think about saying bird. It is cold. Think about cold. I thought I had shirts. I did Berlin. I thought you did fine. I thought I did. It's fine. But I guess not. all you gotta do is put it's the emphasis the on it first. Yeah, you know first. what? So everyone can just. So everyone can just. I have practiced for a long time. Somebody called me out on it. It's just so fun. Berlin. Bur Berlin. You're probably like saying Bur. Bur like you're saying Berlin. Bur. Berlin? Berlin. Is that better? If you Berlin? think of it as B U R L, that's what I was doing. That's how I think of it. Honest to God. Okay. Enrollment, and I'm not going to say it. So, right now, we only have 18 kindergartners currently registered for next year. In Berlin? Yeah. Seriously? Yeah. We're shocked. What? Oh, don't you worry. Yep. No, that can't. So There's we're keeping an eye on it. A lot of people haven't written in or something. Yeah. Well, that's what we're thinking. Right. It's early. It's February. It right? But yep. we're keeping an eye on it's it. Crazy. You know. So on the side, nice. Um, you can see it all broken out by classes. They have two classes per grade, and you can see the class sizes of where we stand. Obviously, if kindergarten doesn't increase, we'll revisit that as we go throughout the budget process. Mm -hmm. Well, John will move a teacher and he still has to hire one. Yeah. One. So now is this the lowest you've seen for th this time of year for kindergarten in Berlin? I would say yes for ki for kindergarten. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I've seen it at eight yeah. for first grade, but that okay. was years ago. So. Yeah. So crazy. enrollment's actually going down mm. by ten, but we'll see what happens. Ha what happens with kindergarten? Yeah, but who knows? Yeah. Okay. Right. I think I know eighteen kindergartners just in my neighborhood. Oh really? Yeah, mine mine's one of them. Maybe oh. they haven't registered. Yeah. Slack. So then you can look at the budget um, by itself for Berlin. Berlin. Is that better? That was yeah. awesome. Okay, okay. good. <laughs> um, and then the next page, we go over what the increases are. So we are for general education, we currently have one kindergarten paraprofessional various software for teaching and learning. We have our portrait of a graduate. We're bringing back one custodian back in house. Nice. We're still gonna purchase the storage unit. It's mm -hmm. very small. In the power school upgrade with electric report cards. I would take out the electronic report cards. I thought we were gonna mix that. Okay. 
How much is that of the whole not budget? Not much. So not why not much. keep it? So you're just hiring one kindergarten para in um, Berlin? Just one, yep. And do they already have one? Well, if they for 18 kids, they they're not going to have one. Right. They have one, but it's being used for the preschool right now. Oh, because she's on maternity, right? Yes. But she's well, going to... she's not... She didn't stay. So now she actually is the preschool teacher. So they need to hire somebody. Yeah, right. So there will be two kindergarten paras in Berlin. Two. two. All right. But Nancy, these are above level anyways. That is correct. Right. Above level. So um, we are not doing health. Correct. I can tell you what we're not doing. Health was not in there. Have it here. Yep. And what was the other? So it was health. Yeah, I have it all right here. Okay. Mm -hmm. well, and that that my might have to probably have maybe get another drive. Wait, I sent it to you, right? Um, or it's got to be on the drive, right? So no, this is the answer to that question we were talking about earlier. Hours, You've got oh. two out of district tuitions listed here, and in Berlin, hundred percent increase. Of course. Well, that's what that. Right. Is that two thousand one? Who knows? This is what we did last it's time. It's just the total right? increase. Yeah. Total. Yeah. It's three hundred thousand. Yeah. There's no health. So yeah. Recess probably probably got, got, no, that's not it. Send it to you Health, floating nurse, occupational therapist, tech health. technician. Oh, the floating nurse we got. Yeah, so there'll be three nurses. Let me just, I'll be really Yeah, take There'll be one. Yeah, there's so no mix with the health. Company. Health, the floating nurse, occupational therapist for all of the them. The OT. Yep. yep, that's right, the occupational. Technology technician, unless they redid this. The technician. Wraparound services, writing curriculum. I'm less worried about the writing. The curriculum stuff, stuff the curriculum yeah. Curriculum the, the teachers do that it's stuff. It's a great writing curriculum. Have you ever heard of Rocking Writing Resources? No. I did that when I homeschooled. It's so good. Rocking Writing Resources? Mm -hmm. It's so good. Um, read aloud novels, electronic report cards. You're right. That was not. That was already off. Um, so the health teacher is kind of the bummer. The floating nurse, we felt that at this point, we stabilized. Yeah. Floating nurse, yeah. Right, yeah. At this point, I think. We can uh, I, I agree with that. Year. That was a pain point. Like health I looked at was in this first year that we had put that in for the health teacher. So we could shift Floating there. Next year. Yeah. OT. So we're not, uh, Berlin already had their own adjustment counselor. Right. No. Uh, Boylston has it through the grant. Berlin does not have an adjustment counselor. They just have a school psychologist. Oh, psychologist. Oh, they do have a school psychologist, but they don't have an adjustment counselor. Right, and they never have. And they don't have the need. Correct. Oh. Yeah. So we cut the 0 .40 health teacher, 0 .25 floating nurse, 0 .25 tech, IT technician, 0 .25 OT occupational therapist, miscellaneous curriculum, wraparound services, um, and we moved the capital items to capital. Yep. I want to look at the wraparound services and see if we can get a grant for that. That's the one. I mean, I know there are people, and that's like 10 families that will only take. Oh, I know. Right. That was such a great program. It was a great That was like through the yeah. ASABIT collaborative that you were talking mm -hmm. about. And it was funded through the ESSER 3 grant. That's the, the one. The ESSER. That, mm. And that grant ends September 2024. So. How much is that one? Do you know off the top of your head? Grant. I think I'd have to well, that's okay. Don't worry. We've used up everything but about... What do we say? Thirty-six thousand to pay mm -hmm. for. Well, that's another piece to pay for the uh, adjustment counselor in Boylston. We're not going to be able to fund that. You're kidding! No. So you're going to get rid of her? Well, well mm. what are you going to do? We'll talk. We're going we'll yeah, to figure it out. That. Mm. Um, yeah, we haven't talked to any staff yet about uh, that. So what's the difference between an adjustment counselor and a school psychologist? It, in the school, the school psychologist is typically works with the special education department. They do testing. They're not really, they, their primary job is not to do like social emotional work with children, oh. but they do get pulled into right. that just yeah. by which of what their background is. Got so it. That's the, that's the difference. I feel like there has been such a strong need, at least in Boylston Elementary School from what I've seen for the school psychologist to be doing the social emotional that it's almost like the adjustment counselor's job was overflowing. Mm -hmm. So to not have that is a huge concern. Well, we heard about it from Caroline last meeting about how 
even at the high school they're having these issues yes you need more people Hmm. you need more oh yeah that that's a bummer so that hopefully we can figure something out for that okay all right so then for level service we have two new out of district students we have our benefit and insurance increase the custodian we're bringing back to in-house and increased needs for special education Mm -hmm. transportation can I ask you a question? Do you remember, and I meant to write it down when we met with Berlin, what Kristen said just to meet level services, how much she would, they would have to cut from their budget, and then to do above levels. I think the above level was, I remember, 400 to 500. It was like 900 and something. Oh, 900 for above. Room. Whoa, then was it? Yeah. 900, with, yeah. Right. Was, was the above level services. Yeah. Yeah. So that's what they were saying at the last meeting. They can't even meet level. They couldn't, right. they, they, they were they like 450 level. shy mm-hmm. to meet level. To meet level. We have been working with them since two, for two weeks now. Oh, for great. Berlin. Berlin and, what? We and Boyle. to Boylston, too. That's so great. Another conversation. Okay. Yeah, that's, but we have them trying to work with them. They're work, they are. Berlin really is working with yep. us. So we'll see tonight. That's why I want the answer. If you don't, then what? You should ask them tonight. We, we said that, and they are gonna, they're going to say, well, then it goes to a vote. And what happens if the vote turns down? <clears throat> We ask. We. I think that's you fair. Can't that's cut, the you question: can't is what like, happens? It like goes you to both. You can't cut enough. Te- you can't cut enough from this budget to make that up if they don't do it. Even level service. Yes. You can't cut enough. Right. So where does it come from? I don't want to pay more taxes. I don't have a kid in school, so what? Right. I know. Both, both towns. I would say that both towns have communicated. They want to work with us. They're trying mm-hmm. to figure out. They've been coming up with some solutions. Yeah. Possible solutions. I think we'll hear about. That in Berlin tonight. I don't know about Boylston, but they may, we may be meeting with them before the vote next week as well. We're trying to see if they'll put some together a meeting with us. Yeah, at least so I feel like going into this meeting, we need to know. I feel like it would be helpful to know for the school committee before voting on this budget where the towns stand. Because if the towns well, they are. Are interested in coming to speak? They wanted to, yeah. They're going to speak at the school committee meeting? What did you decide to do, Mike, after all? We were going back and forth. we got to talk about the agenda later, so. Okay, yep. I didn't know if you still wanted them to come, or remember we were... I think it'd be good, but we'll talk about it with the agenda. All right. I agree. All right. All right. So then Boylston Elementary enrollment is currently um, down three. It's down by three. How is that? That's our current enrollment in kindergarten is at 54. Um, oh, there's only 50. Yeah. What's the population in Boylston? Do you know what's top of your head? No. Mm, do you know maybe? Uh, 5,000. About 5,000 people in Boylston. I think just under. So in Boylston Elementary, we're looking at a 20% increase. Our highest being on a district tuitions at 150 percent increase and that's just a level service budget right? that's yeah. level service. Yeah. for that's out of district service. tuitions yeah yep so that that is two new out of district students um and then what we're adding in for above level is three kindergarten paraprofessionals so we have a paraprofessional in each kindergarten class we currently have in there the 0.60 um, adjustment, adjustment counselor, counselor that was paid through the ESSER grant last year, but mm. now will be added into the budget. We increased oh. our school's choice to cover it, but... Wait, now what? Say that again? We increased our school choice allocation to cover that, which we'll go over in another slide. From the school choice budget. Yep. So you're keeping the adjustment counselor? Yeah. For right now. At 0. 0.6, not full-time. 0.6. Correct. So the 0. 0.6, yeah. That's okay. Fine. Yeah. That's good. Was that three days? Two points? About three mm-hmm. days, yeah. Um, and then we have the report card. Should I take that off too? Yeah. So we got rid of the health teacher, floating nurse, technician, the two classroom teachers, which is heartbreaking. So my one thing about the classroom teachers, if we look at um, the fifth grade enrollment. Mm-hmm. So if we look at, I mean, I, I know everyone here understands it, but. So this fifth grade class is graduating. Mm-hmm. Chances are the new one coming in is going to need three teachers. Mm-hmm. So Boylston is going to need a teacher in one year, or in your classes year. will mm-hmm. be. So that's not mm-hmm. pushed 
that's not off, that's not cut, that's moved out a year. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we'll have to get another teacher. Yeah. 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 I think everything, right? It's a three year plan, right? That's the idea. Is that I guess my question is if we don't have the money. But it comes at two or one if you don't fund it this year. Right, two or one. No, yeah. this year. Yep. And that, and that's that's thing. what I'm saying. What happens next year? You're saying. That's what I keep saying. What that's the scary thing to me. You don't really kick the bucket down the road for so long. And that's what we've been doing for years, mm -hmm. and that's why we're in this position that we're in. And I mm -hmm. think that's why a lot, a lot of towns are because during COVID, nobody was spending money, and and everything mm -hmm. has gone up now, and everybody's kind of in this position where it's like, okay, like we we can't mm -hmm. sustain at this anymore. Right. right. So we've been kicking the can down. Right yes, and by for years, but moving now, things on top now, of what we have the, the significant amount of districts. Yes, that's yes. That bear, bearing, oh, yeah. But those aren't going to go away next year unless kids are graduating out, which you guys would have that We're data. Looking at that, yeah. And I don't know if there are kids that are graduating out, but with that, could new ones be coming in? We don't sure, know. Absolutely. Right. So um, I guess my concern is that you can only move this stuff for so long, but. You can't have classes with 30 kids and no, no aids. I don't know. <laughs> and I, I, this is a question I have to ask the town. Is, yeah. What, you know, what are we supposed to do? At what point is this going to everything drop out of the bottle? Because we can't keep going this way. How, right. How are we, we going to have these, how are we going to have schools that are decent schools? I, I don't know. We're working with the skeletal crew. I don't know. So why are the classes so big anyway? We've always had small classes. Which, which which any class pick one we've always had small classes I, right why are they getting bigger I building I what <laughs> no we don't build i don't know what they're big you see perry where road you, where do you see bigger I, i'm stuff. just I'm, I'm, i see a 58 student class a 50 54 student class versus 39 and 44. the older classes are smaller the younger classes are getting bigger why are yeah. they getting bigger because you're building why what do you mean we're building so what we have to build. People need to sell the property and develop and yeah. make money. Well, then we need to take care of the kids. I think that's his point. Doesn't mean there's kids coming in. And I think if you're building those million dollar homes on yeah, Perry you Road, you're filling them with now. kids. Dogs. First, I didn't understand where you were going. <laughs> yeah. You're asking a question to get the real answer. Exactly. I, mean, exactly. I didn't get that at first. Yeah. That's why I'm like, are you serious? <laughs> no. But now I get them. Well, why is, yeah, you're going to have that question. It, right. Yeah. It's a great question. Yeah. But why is your, but I'm yeah. curious to know why the Berlin number has decreased so much. In I, that number That's can't be right. Be people, I don't think it's right. It's people I think not it's wrong. paying attention. It's people, people just, just haven't not, got to it yet. Yep. It's the holidays okay. are barely well, maybe over. Maybe there's a mistake. Yeah, yeah, people are, have not gotten to it yet. I mean, despite the 4,000 emails. So, Julie, Julie you remember you were saying. Half the emails don't get to people. They don't give you the right email. It ends up in a spam folder That's or a promotions true. folder That's or true. somewhere else. I've asked Paul about this. Mail, I don't know, people don't check their mail email anymore. Y younger out. kids, the younger parents, they're more technology, but if the technology is not getting to them. Right. And they'll just show up at the door. If they're new to town, they're going to yeah. just show up. At right. The if they've got a kid. They'll come in the spring. Come yeah. May and June, they'll start yeah, asking. Yeah, they'll like, oh, wait. Yeah, yeah come May. Yeah, they'll start asking. In. Yeah, I mean, also, I know there's not a huge, but I know, like, from second to third, we're actually losing a kid. Because I know in there's Boston? a kid. Yeah, so oh, yeah. it's not going to be 39, it'll be 38. Because, Julie, just think but about again, it. I don't this know year's in, there's little. kindergarten sports, right? Pre K sports. Oh, you, yeah. you were yeah. struggling to find coaches because you had so many kids. Right, correct. So those kids are coming to school next year. That's right. So mm -hmm. you know they're there. Yep. They just haven't signed just up. Yeah, 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 I have 50 yeah, kids for T-ball. You can probably actually get some pretty good stats on that. I would actually, yeah, yeah. That's so you're not anything that we have to do anything with the team. I don't so think. I'm, I'm in Mike's either. camp on that one. I don't think that number is accurate. But there might be kids that are being held back because you're seeing that a lot more now too, right? Oh. With the pandemic, they were mm -hmm. home. They wanted to do preschool before they go to yeah. kindergarten. So there might be kids that are maybe that could have something. But I have a ton for Boylston T-ball. I have at least 50 kids. Wow. Kindergarten. kindergarten. That's kinder oh, and kindergarten. preschool. Wow. wow. And pre yeah. So it's kinder and pre. So that's just spoil thing. So So you're gonna have the numbers. There I mean you can't there's definitely more like kids. Like Megan said, Megan knows about real estate. You can't have all this building without more families coming to town. Yeah. Those houses, yeah, they're still going the wild at that Perry Road in Boylston. Compass Circle is another one. So Oh, look at that, 150% increase, huh? On district tuition. Oh, my God. CBS out of Just, district. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yep. So, uh, but every kid deserves the right to an education, right? The state's got to step in and help. 
Yeah. That was what they were saying when That's they came to the. Happened. Well, you were there, right? Were yeah. you at that b meeting with the boy with Meg Kilcoin and? Oh no, I was at the Berlin. Who was at that meeting? Yeah, I was what there. Was she I talked to her about it. So, the MASC lists everything. All the districts are right into the state because there's legislation yeah. proposed to increase the amount of reimbursement. Of reimbursement. Yes. Yeah, I'm sure, yeah. From from what it is now to whatever they're proposing, it would up to ninety percent. Yeah. To so 90, yeah. It would help, but it's only it's only ninety percent above a certain level too. It's not ninety percent of your total. So right. it's more like if 50%, they do the ninety, we've heard the ninety for like yeah, a year, year and a so they're, right? they're not going to do it. So people get on. So if people are upset about it, then get onto it. Yeah. Right. Well, that's so what hopefully these reps are supposed to be advocating for. They said they would. They did say. They but not that they always say. Not in past. I know. I don't miss on that. Right. Yeah. It's, it's no, not. It's not going to happen this year. Well, you were in that meeting. They were like, well. No. It'll okay. take a few years for that to even because yeah. once they approve it, it'll probably take a year or two. I mean, we got our we did get our chapter seventy back. I think it's a three hundred around three hundred fifty thousand increase. Okay. That's good. That was mm. you yeah. know more than a lot of towns saw. Yeah, right. you know so, but and this is all reflective of that. Good. Yeah, okay, good. so then we move on to Toronto. Um, so if you look at the enrollment, it, this includes. Um, the school choice that's going to be brought forward to you. So it includes 55 total for enrollment, new enrollments. So Not 11, enrollments. 11. It, so to Nancy, Hanto, here's a question. When it comes time to talk about school choice, we're going to need to see per student spending from this budget yeah. per school. We're going to need to flash that on the screen because yep. it's what, like 18 or so at Berlin, 16 or 17 at Tahanto, and 14 or 15 at Boylston, if I remember correctly, from last mm -hmm. year. Yeah. So, spending that much per and I know accounting and math, but spending that much per student for taxpayer students, taxpayer dollars, only getting five thousand per student for school choice, it's a tough pill to swallow. For people. Uh, yeah, it depends about school. Okay, but still, it's not. You know, it's saving it's, our budget right now. Okay. I'm a very pro school choice. I know you guys are, but <laughs> there's you, a lot of people who are not. Because it saves the budget. I agree with that when it comes to the, it like saves the budget. Well, because there's fixed costs. But you just said it's fifty-five thousand dollars of a twenty-two million dollar budget. So oh, more than whatever, so whatever it is see, you said. I got more slides. Right. And Wait, are I all these fifty-five school choices? No, okay. no, 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 no. This is this not is so this, is, this includes. The number of school choice that's being that's recommended plus what's already there. yeah 25 additional school choice being recommended and then the difference it the 30 is just twenty five thousand dollars or 25 students students that's gonna be a tough one though. that's gonna be tough let me fight my case first all right <laughs> so enrollment at tahato is that what we're on right now yes Explain negative 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 this. negative six thousand percent increase. yeah so you had 75 in 8th grade, you're projecting that 4 are going to leave for ninth grade? Seven, uh, yes. You always have dropouts, 8th and ninth. Like, really? So oh, that's yeah. why I have you're, you're going to like add your school, that's why kids. you're adding, you know you're going to lose kids in ninth grade. You know you're going to. Yep. They're going to the other mm -hmm. schools. So that's what, okay, where you ninth, take advantage of your school ninth, choice. Yeah. Okay, so why are we losing kids? kids? Why in don't that? we keep those kids? Because our sports are terrible. Sports, okay, programming. Okay, so let's improve the sports. Yeah. Okay. The what do they do? Valley. What do they do in an Asset Valley? Private school. Tech. Okay. Yeah, it's tech. We have tech. Trades. No, no, like um, trades. Vocational trades. Okay, so we can't do electricity and plumbing. Okay, fair mm -hmm. enough. We can do computers, IT. Yep. Yeah. Why can't we do that? We can. Keep the kids. We, we don't have to. We can. You gotta enhance your programming. Yep. Robotics, so engineering. So is that in his plan? Sure. Why don't we do that? Let's do that. Let's spend the money on that. I Is know half here? the kids that left last year was because of sports. Half at six. Okay. Eight mm -hmm. of those friends. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So those kids left for sports because they had the ability to for whatever reason. Yep. Okay. The kids that are left, their sports are even worse now. Their arts are even worse exactly now. Right, their yeah. drama yep. band is even worse now. Yeah, we don't have kids for programs. So they're leaving because those programs aren't good enough. Let's make those programs good enough. Yep. Mm -hmm. You know, they're going to a private school. They're choosing to continue to pay taxes in this town, plus now pay private school tuitions. Mm -hmm. I know. Are we that bad? How bad can we be? We need some help. We, we need money. We need money. <laughs> well, 
This is close This is a terrible district. Thing. I can't even imagine anyone would want to like, move here. My cities, property value is going to tank. That's why kids really lose eighth to ninth year. It's yeah. going to make all. Yeah. It's, it's like everything else. Yeah. It's making a huge divide in society. So anyone that can afford to is going to pull their kid, pay taxes, yeah. and pay for private school. Why? Because we're that bad. Yeah, if, there, is it if that the bad? school doesn't have what if the school doesn't have, I mean, I don't know if to hunt. So let's make the school have it. I'm 100 percent on board with you. I think it's a it's a big con. All right, it's a ahead. bigger conversation too, like, you know, the, in my opinion, I mean, there's great things happening at Tejanto. Yeah. There's really great things happening there that I've seen. Um, I think our middle school is struggling significantly and has been. Okay, let's fix it. We need the right leader. For so long. Ding, ding, so ding, 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 I think ding. like, you know, with Carol steering the ship and whoever's going to get hired to be the leader there. So we have this problem, but we're going to cut. A vice principal? Is that what I'm hearing? Well, now that is a huge... I, I think we need two. But there's because no we more. need two separate minds. The, the, oh, I yeah. think there needs to be more separation in that. The other possibility facility. we first talked about was having a principal in the high school and a principal in the middle school. Yes, because I think it needs to be two separate organizations where you're doing two separate oh, things. That's because, a good idea. Yeah. But right now we're going... But then we're... we're then you don't have an assistant. Principal, right? Now we're hiring... We're, yeah, but what's salary difference? It's it's a significant the assistant principal versus the principal yeah, for a middle pretty, school. Yeah. Oh, it is. Yeah, it's about ten thousand dollars difference. I would say. Well, that's not that bad. Yeah, but then we're, we're uh, running a interviews for the assistant principal instead of high school principal. Like we've already run the Tejanto principal position for right. the high school. Like we're already. Julie, how is do you know what I'm saying? So I do, but can you just change that? Plus, that person wouldn't have an assistant. You don't need, I mean, it's a small school. You can run a high school. I, I don't know. I'm just saying. To 12. Look how many kids there are. There's 62 kids graduating our senior class. We're not, you know what I mean? We don't Yeah, have so the, what, the middle school would be responsible for 6, 7, and 8, and then 9 through 12. I didn't even think of that. I do think that that. Probably originally what we talked about. That's so smart. Year. We did talk year. about that last year. Right? Yeah, but then we thought of a one and then two well, we assistants. Said one and two, yes. and now the one assistant's being cut. So if we can't have to two, keep this then, pattern of one yeah. main and one yes. assistant is. Because you need different I stuff. Know. You oh. need different. It oh. needs to be like different campaigns, different. Different everything. Yes. Different mentalities. Yeah, because younger kids. So you can't know. go back now because you're already. We can, we're in, in the throes of this right now. Bummer. That would have been great. But this Why? Issue because there the job was advertised really as an assistant. Yes. So to say, now instead of being an assistant for a middle high school, you'd just be a middle school principal. Yes, and have to go back for a job. You'd have to go because the person might not be a high school right, not qualified. Because you've already got resumes for that. Oh yeah, they're already they've interviewed for the principal's position. Oh, I didn't know that. No, we'd still have the principal. No, you keep the principal as the principal, but they just wouldn't principal over school. the middle. Well, we wouldn't do the middle school and the assistant principal These, ones are in motion. Yeah, that's right. the problem. I don't know what's happened with that. So yeah. you can't change it? Could you? Too much more. I mean, it's going to take more time, of course. But other than that, why can't you? Because they're, well, we could do whatever you want, but. Yeah. I mean, well, how far down the process are you? I thought that was behind BES. We are starting interviews today for BES. Yeah. Well, BES, I'm not worried about that. No. It's just to haunt until we would have to. Yeah, no, I out. mean, I thought you guys were uh, after BES interviewing. No, or they already started interviewing for the assistant? this today. But things have already oh. been put out there as well. No, said. for Tahanto. Tahanto. Where are you in? Yeah, where yeah. are you in the process? They, they put out there for. Uh, they posted the position, so people have applied for the assistant. So it would have position. to be reposted. Well, we'd have to also do a new job description. It would have to be a totally yeah. new thing, and then the people that applied for that, we'd have to say, so "Sorry, not week. doing this. Gonna do this." Right, and we'd have to also see thirty days. I think they have to put. Right, so we'd have to also see. We got a week to change the it. The person who we it. pick for the principal right. of the high school, of the whole school, wants to be the. Just it would the high school. be a step down for that person. And oh, I think they'd to, welcome it. But then we'd have to raise the cost of yeah. the principal salary. Salary. So now you we don't adding, have, and we're adding more money. Do you know what I mean? Sure. We're if it's adding only, if it's instead of just ten. doing a principal well, and an assistant. Is. Assistant principal to principal. All right. Principal. So how about this? I think that's. A Let's good not change idea. anything. Continue going on the path we're going. It's not a good idea. Will the school be successful? Will it turn around? Will people be happy? Can you make it work? We can't answer that question. It depends on people. Carol can. If, well, if we have the right people on board. Okay. Sure. All right. Good. Yeah. Then get the right people. Let's go. Yeah, I'm working on it. All right. <laughs> Moving on. <laughs> <I'm> trying. <laughs> Moving on. 
Oh, that would have been a good idea. The other thing is, too, Mike, we have to realize who who are we getting for our candidates? Mm -hmm. What are they thinking about our school system and who are we attracting? We had some some interesting candidates in the pool of candidates we received. Yep. That's maybe something they're gonna be, they're gonna, whoever, year, whoever they are, the they're going to be principles. more supported by this committee than anyone in recent yep. past. I no, think. absolutely. So but and they'll have the they best can, boss. They can know that. We let them. We let many go who we didn't interview. Yeah. I, I, I believe, though, you know, if you're, if your kid's happy in middle school, they'll stay because they want to stay with their friends. I agree, and I think that. And we're just missing the mark at the middle school level. Yeah. Uh, not to say that there's not great things happening because there also are, but we're we're we're, we're missing it. So we're about, again. Are we? Is this taking this assistant, the second assistant principal? Are we taking this out of the budget? or Are we pushing it? And when are we pushing it to? We took currently. We took it out of the budget. So that's off the district improvement plan, off the budget for this year. For this year, it's pushed. is it pushed for like FY twenty five or? We haven't gotten that far yet, but we could. I mean, we could make it a, an FY twenty five goal. If we did, if if we have a principal and assistant principal down the road, we could add an assistant principal. That's easier to do right. with two assistants and right. a principal mm-hmm. than what what we were talking about the all alternate, which would be two principals. Two principals. So we can add. So we could add, but again, we're at that whole conversation of if we can't afford it now, what's to say we're going to afford it next year or the year after, and how long is it going to be until right. we can afford it? Right. And you don't probably usually see principals for that small of a group, six to nine, or six to nine, we, for middle school. Such a time. It depends, you know, it's not, I, it depends on the size that, of yeah. the schools, yeah. Mm-hmm. Like, Shrewsbury has a five, six, and then a seven, eight. Each building has their own principal, right? Right. Yeah, so mm. that's what I'm saying is like they have a high, large population. Uh, yes. Right, it's way bigger. Yeah, it's like nineteen. Their five six right? is probably the same size as Tahanto. Right. But the question is, and I've always been confused on this being a resident of Boyles, is Tahanto one school that's grades six through twelve, or is Tahanto a middle school that's six through eight that has its own separate mindset, and a high school that's grades nine through twelve, or is it just one building with one? vibe one you know atmosphere one leader mm-hmm. yeah that's that whole grade because that's a real that's a that the kids just being in the building looking at kids in sixth grade versus kids in 12th grade it's like dealing i mean well it's like dealing with kindergartners versus mm-hmm. fifth graders originally it was designed to be two separate that's lives, what i thought but then they had to share teachers that's what happened like the specialist music art phys ed and some of the just some of the content area teachers, which is why they had a crossover between the middle and high school. But originally it was designed. That's why that there's that yes. one, one area that's middle school primarily. Yeah. But they do still cross over. That's and then you'd have to hire a separate music teacher, a separate art yeah. teacher. Yeah. I mean down the road that that would be a yeah. huge but that might be something that we need to drive the change. The only way that would happen is if you built a separate, I think, a separate middle school and you were yep. forced to, and you were forced to have that separate space and those those additional yeah. teachers. Mm-hmm. All right, yeah, it's just a bummer. All right, I mean, it's what it is. Yeah, moving on. All right, so for the overall budget for Tahanto, it's a twelve percent increase. Highest increase is out of district tuitions. Yeah. Uh, Forty-nine percent, four hundred and fifty thousand. Um, our fixed charges are increased by twelve percent, and maintenance and operations by twenty-one percent. Um, the maintenance and operations. Um, sorry to yep. interrupt. The yep. maintenance and operations on each one is like about twenty something percent. Like, can you just? So, what is that again? Custodial utilities, maintenance of buildings, and tech infrastructure. So that's the tech. So that's bringing the, in. Berlin and Tahanto. Yeah. That's bringing the custodian back in house. Um, it's in in Boylston especially. It's increasing for repairs. Repairs. Yeah, need. buildings are we need so to that's increase um, need a to lot of stuff for buildings. plumbing. Kids can dodge rain buckets. Yeah, they've been doing it for years. What's the problem? That's how we did it in my day. <laughs> Is Lead plumbing bad? Asbestos. You're, you're gonna, oh. Lead paint. Throwing things at me, Megan. 
you're going to have. But they do like water tests. Issues. Yeah. I think they do. No, it's not that the water is bad. It's the plumbing that's bad. Mm. Sorry if I okay said it wrong. The water's fine. Plumbing like it's the actual plumbing, pipes. like the pipes. They're ah, old. They're old. Okay. Like they can't even. There's a restroom in the offices right now where the the pipe is just rotted. Oh wow. Yeah. Okay. They're, they're, it's just old. A lot of stuff is old. Okay. And so a lot of the repair lines have increased to keep up. HVAC repair lines, electrical repairs. Plumbing, roof patches, landscaping, everything. There's just not case. enough money in all these yeah. accounts. So that, that is part of the reason why the maintenance is up. And utilities. You got well, your you electrical, had a, your, your yeah, new, you had a new principal doing landscaping in August, from what I hear. Yes. So yes. we can't have that. Yeah. She needs to focus she on the school, not landscaping. She literally so. did the mulch bed in the front with so her father. We need... No. Ground no, but we didn't have a facility guy either. Like everything was hey, that moved over. Yeah, true. So she what? was saw it. She was embarrassed. She fixed it. It was a very nice thing. But yes, I agree. Um, I think Berlin has a uh, landscape, but there wasn't any budget. But Boylston doesn't. Right. So I think yeah. that's part of the problem. Berlin, somebody comes mulch in is mulch. outside in a flower bed. You don't need mulch to learn. Why? Why don't you need what? You saying not to have? <laughs> what did you, you say? You don't need mulch to learn in school. What's mulch got to do with it? Well, it keeps the grounds nice. So what? Well, then I'll just let my lawn overgrow in my neighborhood and see what it does to my property value. <laughs> it's to nice. all yours right around look me. look nice. It has to look nice. Aesthetics matter. Why? It's, well, it's going to drive because the property value Because it puts you in the right mindset. All the houses to do what? around it. To learn. Oh, suck to it To be up. welcomed. Learn. Read a book. So I'd rather read a book with nice landscaping. Thank you very much. We'll see. Where do you read your books? How's your landscaping? Tax probably perfect. Don't make my landscaping. <laughs> <laughs> Point made. And the landscaping also includes, you know, pulling all the weeds and the yeah. old flowers and yeah, that's, that, a, that's that can an really piece. make it look crummy. I don't think it looks like Better Homes and Gardens even when no, we even with it what just, we did. I mean, no, no, but tiny, Boyle, I thought tiny. Boylston didn't have that in the budget. They didn't have it in the budget. So did you add it this year? That was yes. something we discovered. Thank you, yes. Nancy. You're welcome. Yes. That was <laughs> something that we discovered. That I owe this woman a bottle of wine. I think it was always in there, and Bob just moved it. It was never. But no, the I invoices were coming no, through. It no, not. It not, was. It was always in Boston. Boston, Boston got but Bob moved. was very much. Yeah, movie. Ugh. Well, yeah, very you different than what I do. I yeah. like to just have it Can there. Can I just tell you why? I know why. Ryan is out there blowing the leaves and doing all that stuff. The custodian goes out and he's doing that stuff. I see him during the Which day. Which is fine. Which is yeah. fine. But he needs to be doing. But he's also getting a school ready to start school. And cleaning the building, right, floors you know, and cleaning. Right. Up. Well, no, he's like doing it during the day. I've seen him outside. So, yeah, it, I mean, it. we should have it's somebody do the mulch. You shouldn't be spreading mulch. No. Mm -mm. No. No, 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 no. All right. Yeah. Yeah. And the playground mulch is a safety thing. Absolutely. Yep. Oh, yeah. Oh, um, yeah. In fact, you can't even. So to yeah, tell so you. Three inches thick. Yep. You can't even be open. Or five inches thick. Yeah. yeah. Inches thick. yeah. So yeah. to tell you what I took out of right. Tejanto. Right. Right. So six, we took, on. since right, we yeah, last approved, approved the budget in December, yeah. we took out 944000 a From Tejanto alone. From Tejanto alone. Which is the assistant principal making the athletic director full-time, the math teacher for financial <laughs> literacy, LabQuest for chemistry, physics, and AP biology, a .40 health teacher, .25 cloning nurse, .25 technician, IT technician, .25 occupational therapist, miscellaneous curriculum, wraparound services, and a laptop cart. For Is science. there a school left? <laughs> What I am we kept so in. sad no. about the financial literacy. That is such a We're going to continue having these problems yep. if we don't have financial literacy. I can tell you a story that happened to me last week with some of these young kids. Yep. We have it, and we have it in the program of studies, so we're trying to figure out how we can... That and health. We, uh, health is in, uh, extremely important. Health at Toronto. Oh, they do? Yeah. Thank God. No, so the health, the health teacher is just the elementary. Elementary. Yeah. You had it applied I mean, it has to be part of the curriculum. The health teacher, originally. Was it not supposed to be? No, we had a health teacher. Oh. So that new health teacher was split amongst Yeah, the all new three health teacher was split. Elementary. No, it was split mm -hmm. amongst all three. No, it should be getting buried. Be, no, it always was. It shouldn't have been. elementary. Uh -huh. Yeah, see, it says point four yeah. health teacher yeah, she has in there. Answer. 
Point four and Berlin and point six and she has it as point four and Tahanto. Nope. So hmm. okay. That's gonna screw up your numbers. I know. I I thought that too, Nancy. Elementary. Hmm. It was just elementary. Point four. Or did I type it in there and do Maybe I did. So yeah, the financial mm -hmm. literacy, yeah, the um the Athletic director. The athletic director is a little bit of a bummer, and the That's assistant principal bummer. is a huge bummer. Yep. But the good news is, yep. we kept in um, portrait for graduate, the additional late bus on Wednesdays, the late the bus is going to yep. update AP psychology textbooks, physics lab equipment, the mathematic programs program from grade yes. six through eight, computer numerical control for the technology class. Subscription for Gizmo um, and various software for teaching and learning in the storage unit. What is Gizmo again? That's a um, math interactive uh, online platform, so an exper experimental platform that they use in biology and oh, bio. Okay. Middle and high school. What about the music? Okay. The music stuff. Didn't we have music stuff music in there? Music technology. Yeah. We're going for that with the fuller. Yeah. You put that in the fuller grant. Yeah. Okay, I hope. And then you have your special ed that's above level service. I just want to tell you, I did you know, in our plan, our three year plan, it's elementary. It's it is. Elementary, okay. So I'm thinking I might have just yeah, no, typed it in there. Yep. Okay. So we're looking for an additional special education teacher, a point five board certified behavioral analyst. We would like to really keep going with the special education reserve fund because that will help us in future years mm -hmm. as we're seeing with our increases in under district tuition, our Orton Gillingham training, and training for our paraprofessionals applied <coughs> behavioral analysis training. So the Orton Gillingham is for dyslexic students or no? No, this is just training for it's another tool that they use in special education. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yep. You're thinking of the dyslexia screener. That's a, the did we bruise. keep that in? Yeah, that's pain. Yeah, yeah. That's in the so what happens if you just let's just cut all the special education stuff that's above level service? All three schools. What what happens? I then think if you kids I don't think get if them. the only other way, and I don't but it's know. above level service, so we don't need it, right? It's just what you want. I think there are needs for kids. Yeah, but then, the, yeah, that's a problem. Then we don't keep those kids. Right. Right? So we need... So this. what happens? Well, then they, they go, go out of district, district, district later, and then that goes more? Our parents are not... These folks yeah. are not trained to work Training, with these yeah. children. So what, so what happens to the kids? What, do they go out of district, and then... No. They just get screwed? Mm -hmm. Well, they're not... They don't have the proper... The teachers with proper training. They can't be... Or aides with proper training. But it's above level service. You don't. It's just a, above level is just what you want. It's all your hopes and dreams and wishes. Not in special education. It's above level service. I well. think probably it's there. Mike, we could probably think about paying that fee. Yes. We do that too. Right? I have so much already applied to the grants. Yeah. yeah. And I can, we'll go over that. It's just. A, it's a question yeah. I want to think about. Mm. You know. It's something that it's, it's, above, it's above level service. It could be cut without any impact to your level service budget. Years. We have not had this if, training. If you, I can tell you, our special ed department. If you cut that, that special ed teacher, you will have students who go out a students. district. Okay. And your increases will be higher. So instead of a, uh, what's a full time special education teacher cost? Put it in at Master Six. What is it? 70, 70. 70. Yeah. So we'll save 70, but we'll end up having to spend another, what, 100 at least? Mm -hmm. At least. Oh, at least. 150. Okay. So that's your answer. One kid. That's one. One kid, yeah. And, and also, special education yeah, teacher can handle how many kids, yeah. Good call. Okay. We might lose so that's teachers your because they don't want to have to deal with the extra. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, that's a good answer, too. I would also add that the BCBA, that we're sh we have to add another one because our needs have increased so significantly mm -hmm. that those students, this is somebody covering the cost. Why? Is there something in the water in these towns? What's going on? It's everywhere. It's everywhere. You increase the number of students, you increase the probability that we get more students with needs. Janelle said our, I thought Janelle said our percentage is average for no, special, yeah. So the next slide. Yeah. So we're not special, it's just what it is. Yeah. What is this? this is, thank you. So this will be the next one. Oh, this is good. 
Is this the out I of thought, district? Yes. Yeah, because this, I feel like with these FinComs, the point needs to be drilled home because I don't think they understand. I, I didn't. I, I don't, Last year, when the budget was first presented, I remember asking Bob a million questions about uh, out of the district. Districts. I just physically couldn't wrap my brain right. around the cost. Um, is this a, a student name in here, or is that the what? town? Is that, is that a student? Oh, that's, or is that a town? That's a town. Okay. Which I'm, I will take that out because right. that's just a note as to what happened. Yeah. So as you can see from 22 on, there's been increases. Mm. I mean, if you look back for where we were in FY19 to where we are today, it, they almost doubled from 20 so, to 20. Wow. Mm -hmm. Is that older kids Oils moving in or is that just young kids starting? It's a mix of everybody, everything. Okay, so that's mm -hmm. probably here for a while then. So I also have what's dropping off. I did this um, by year of what we're losing. It's always a hard one to predict because yeah, who knows? When you lose, you might just get one. So you're just going by who's graduating, mm -hmm. or done schooling, or whatever. Yeah. Is that why there was a drop from 19 to 20 in Berlin? Because kids graduated out? Oh. No, it's so hard because I wasn't yeah, here. Yeah, because you weren't here. Okay. I didn't know if that um, was a COVID thing. No, because they still had services. They, they went in, right? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, 19 to 20 was a big drop. Yeah, 19 to 20 was a big drop. Well, yeah, it's the move from one town to the other. 20 to 21 was a big What do you mean, the move from one town to the other? The note right below the the, the one town's down, one town's 21 up. to 22 was insane. Mm -hmm. Across down, the board. Up, down, mm -hmm. up, down, up. You know what it probably what was? Is that a lot of those special down needs kids were home because they didn't want to get COVID. Yep. Because so moved moving from moving here to here. here. Yes, or the parents There's were like, well, if they're special needs, they're mm -hmm. high risk for COVID. Here. So they were like, I'm just going to mm -hmm. keep my child mm -hmm. home and care for them at home. Just and to this. That's significant. That's it, yes. Yeah. That's, that's, that's going to be a question, yeah. I think, so though. After next year, we're going to have one drop-off, three drop-off into Honto. Um, for a total of 331000 But you never know what you get. Right, exactly. Three graduating. graduating. Yeah. So that would... Yeah. But then, um, so it's, yeah. The, 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 the point, the point of the, the point of this discussion, the, the point of this, the yeah. fact of this is here that it, you can't control it, you can't predict right. it, you yep. have to manage it. Now, this is what we get the well circuit said. breaker funds for from the right. state, but we only get ninety percent, or sorry, no. seventy-five percent. Seven, about 72 to 75 it's been ranging but it's not of the total cost to get it it's capped it's at a, what it's a the, what we claim it's a whole it's a formula based you off of the services and, yeah. and you get it's in arrears uh huh yeah that couldn't be any more complicated yeah <laughs> so I thought this was an important slide to show yep, yep. I think so yeah we're gonna put this in there too yeah okay yeah then you have our capital requests yep. since we've I'm going to ask you guys to revote on this too, and obviously it's part of this. Since we last met in December, we kind of rearranged some stuff. Mm -hmm. We took um, the copiers out and we put them into the capital requests. So the copiers are in here. We took the 3D printers out of the general budget and put them into the capital request. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Why do you need three 3D printers? Well, it goes back to what you were talking about with the technology. These are technology courses that utilize these. So you might convince some kids to stay and take these Absolutely. courses instead of leave. That's okay. huge. Huge. Right. huge. Um, we have our security system upgrade. Oh, let's start with the Berlin Memorial. We have the roof. <laughs> IT support, wow. which includes... Does that include the laptops? Yep. Chrome, well, for Berlin Memorial, includes... Um, Chromebooks and devices and what else? There's they're, one they're just little kids. Why do they need? Why does every kid need a device? We're trying to keep them out of the hands of the older kids. Why do we need these devices? Why do we need one hundred twenty thousand dollars to support IT in an elementary school? They're seven, eight, ten years old. Yeah, they utilize them. That's For what? part of their learning. Why? 
they get online, they take their tests on those. They because it's 2023? Is that yeah. why? Yeah. Okay. Because yeah, and unfortunately, you take your own tests on. Well, we have to keep that's up with other time. districts. The Ames Web is on the computer, too, that's isn't the it? That's thing that they do. They don't that's know how to use the technology. technology. They can't do that's well That's the way the world's tests. moving. Mm -hmm. Moved. So we have to prepare that's the kids. That's a different issue than we were talking about. The that is an issue, and I agree with you. Yeah, that's a phone issue. That's why. It's not the technology. Yeah, we have to keep up with other districts, or the kids will be behind. Because if they don't learn how to use it, then... Think about if you went to work and you didn't know how to use a computer. It's mm -hmm. like all my husband mm -hmm. does all day. I'd right. be out of a job. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Well, that's just it, right? <laughs> yeah. They have arguments in the elementary school about handwriting versus keyboard. I had a conversation mm -hmm. about cursive this weekend. Yeah. Because we were looking through old family yeah. stuff, you know. That's what actually one of the candidates said. Um, I don't know if I can disclose. I don't say who it is, but he said um, we have to start thinking that we aren't. You know, these kids are not like BMX, play in the mud kind of kids. They want to go home and build something on a 3D printer. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah. And we have to it's the way teach the world. them how to use these tools. It's just it. the way it's of the world. Hard. I like that. Piece. So you can either like move that. with yeah. it mm -hmm. and prepare your students, or you can say, we're not going to do that, and you're doing more of a disservice to you because you're not getting them okay. up to speed, which was a great point. Disservice. I use that word. Yep. Should I write it down? Yeah. yeah. Disservice. <laughs> For tonight. Seriously. It's not when I raise my hand. <laughs> you mean when you raise your Zoom hand. Zoom me. I just can't even. I'm surprised I didn't even know. Well, it, it, oh, so it uh, ends up working yeah. out, but. Oh, well, yeah. Not till later. Way later. I like know. Is 10, it? Right? Yeah. Oh, is it late? Oh, God. So oh, my God. School tomorrow. Oh, God. Oh, Carol. Yeah. Poor <laughs> Carol. <laughs> Carol will be up all night. Carol will be up all night. I think it's going to be an easy call. I, I think it's going to be yeah. canceled. Yeah. If they're I, you know, getting I think this is one where you're just like, bam. But I'm not saying anything. Yeah, yeah, we're on camera. It's gonna be very difficult. Very right? difficult. Mm -hmm. All right. So the plumbing repair. Oh, we have um, toilet compartments in two of the boys' room that need replacing. So in oh, Berlin, okay. In Berlin. That's what student council um, is talking that's, about. That's that's important. We that just came up, right? Yes. Yes. Yeah. yeah. That's new. Yeah. Yep. It just came up like. R r yeah, like this, like last week, last two week. weeks ago, whatever. Yeah, yeah. But you oh, because they brought that up as a student council thing months ago. I just thought it was my daughter. Maybe just it saying. never made it to yeah. us. Yeah, there it is, though. So. Yeah, there. yeah. <laughs> but <laughs> there it is. Julie. <laughs> I was like, just don't go in the boys' room. And the oh, four exterior doors right. replacing. Yeah. So a lot of the stuff that was, put, you know, we did this facility assessment. Yeah. But we got to start doing some of the stuff that's yeah. in the assessment. Well, yeah. Why waste money? Talking yeah. about the security vestibules and all that, right? Is yeah. that this is part of that? Uh huh. All right. Yeah. Security. And then the security. other thing that's mm -hmm. in here, the through the town of Berlin. Side. Did I do it right? No. Yep. Not even close. No. You did great. <laughs> Berlin. Nancy, I'm giving up. You'd say the first so thing about putting the emphasis so on the first like slab. <laughs> so don't Berlin. say it like Berlin, Germany. That's the thing. That's yeah. the that's a, yeah. You have I, to, can I just emphasize the Berlin? Yeah, emphasis yes. is the <laughs> first <laughs> syllable. But don't say it like. Don't say it. She goes, just, Berlin. Just, 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 just say yeah. it. Berlin. Yeah. Just say it. Berlin. Pretend it's a U, not an E. Yeah. Think of it as B U R L. Yeah, perfect. Or, or B U R L. Don't draw it out that long, but yes. Berlin. 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 That was good. Close. You'll, like, right. literally right. in six months, Berlin. you'll be fine. Berlin. Six months? <laughs> By town meeting. No. I've never thought, like, this you is the most difficult part of my job. Right. You, could <laughs> <laughs> you could just say this town. In this town. In Your this town. town. Yeah, that place. <laughs> yeah. So, the fire, the police chief is getting a new truck. Mm -hmm. In, in Berlin. Converse, in oh, he Ber Berlin. Yeah. And part of the conversation with him and with Dan, there's a, he Dan goes to all the, our facility director goes to all three schools constantly, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. putting stuff in his personal vehicle or a custodian's putting stuff in the personal vehicle, which is a liability. Mm -hmm. So we've been um, had the opportunity to purchase this truck, the old police truck, the old police truck. It's wow, a, yeah, yeah. Okay. it's a like a Ford beater, yeah. yeah, Chevy, truck. yeah, like an but SUV. They can't just gift it. So what you're paying it back well, to the we town? For that, but that we try. Okay, we so then when they're <laughs> being and umming about that expense, be like, this money's going right back to you. Yeah. yeah. So and also, it, so thirty-two fifty. So I put it right back into the capital plan. Yeah. yeah. So Nancy, for, you, you for capital, um, 
I mean, in my head, I think about it this way, but I don't know if everybody else does. So these wouldn't be the expenses for one year. It's like a lot of it's over like 27 years. What do you do for a building? 30 years, right? It's amortized. For the principal and interest. Only for Tahanto, everything else is one year. Hmm. You're not going to amortize like the HVAC? Yeah, but it's a, it's a cash flow cost right now. Yeah, it's cash. It's free cash. Oh, it's for cash. Yeah. We don't, we're not doing really a P&L. Right. I don't know. Yeah. We don't have shareholders and... Yeah, it's a little share, different. It's, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but like when you do the financials, don't you have the... I yeah, do it, it, still needs to pay, it still needs to be paid for today. Right. Oh, yeah. I, I get that. Well, can't... That's the other thing I was wondering. Can we like get a loan? If you want it to cost more. For what? For what? Like for the stuff that we can't pay for, like if we don't get the money, could we just get a loan and then pay it off little by little? For like, I know this might sound crazy. That involves I'm just, more, I'm seriously I'm sure just more asking. town votes and all that, right? Just like paying for school. Like if we if we didn't have like the money a, for this stuff, I'm saying, right, let's, for a I'm roof, just, anything, get a HELOC. Just take a HELOC out on BMS. I'm just saying. <laughs> I'm kind of saying that, Mike. No, I know. I'm, no, I know, I know I'm you kind are, of yeah. like joking, but I'm kind of like I'm, in my head. I'm kind of wondering like why really the kind of school. We're not for this no. Yeah, that's so right, did that's you ever right, look up the town the, is. Ever uh-huh. get the leases? Very it's got to have point. something in there about repair and maintenance. Right. I, have I dug into it? No. No, they have to be rewritten since the regional, yeah. they've been regionalized. They don't have leases. No, <laughs> no. I swear. Yeah, Miss oh, Mary fantastic. Okay. Really? Well, yep. all right, let's start negotiating. There's no now. existing lease yet. Because, were, Mary, since because the district was regionalized? That seems... Yeah, because you have so a different... So that's what Mary said. Because you have a different legal entity, right? Probably something like that. Really? I don't know if that's for all the schools, but I know that's So capital is yeah. like the town. Well, take really care. Needs we're, we're a tenant. Take care of, take care of the damn your property. Yeah, we're a tenant. That's right. Right. At least so we don't need a loan, loan for that. No. Because it's the responsibility. Megan, print eyes. those pictures and bring them Tuesday. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I can get more yes. stuff. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> like literally this thing so this morning a child found something in a beanbag I seriously oh, no. I, I told Nancy I, I remember you being recorded right it, now like, yes but it, I, I, I'm, not, I'm not joking what my head went to is is this part of the ceiling I'm not joking because okay. it was like so okay. that's how bad the library ceiling is I think you should bring Go that out yeah I'll bring those pictures somebody else had pictures printed too. not on the phone do I know you took photos is it Don? Dan has pictures. Yeah. Well, it would be a, might be a good idea to invite the, the of might yeah. invite the council. Yeah. I'll go right in. Print them and put them in slides. Just invite the finance committee in to do a walkthrough. Yeah. I or, want the, or the select board. I'm dying for the bo- I I am dying for the Boylston FinCom and select board. The select board has kids. They've all been in the building. I'm dying for the Boylston FinCom. I would love for them to do a tour of BES. Yeah, because the first time I went in that building, I almost had to pick. That's a great idea. Before the meeting. No, I, I think it, it would be worthwhile because we're asking for, you know, what? Between the two elementary schools, close to over a million dollars. Three million. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, three million mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. total. Um, you know, I would love for them to come through the buildings and take a look. Take a look at that kitchen floor that we're asking 30000 for. Take a look at that cafeteria. And now there will be, if they'll ask these questions, you know, when was the HVAC installed? All that information. Never. There's no HVAC. This is oh, that's right. That's there's no yeah, ventilation at right. yeah. school. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> if it's and covered, they have old school radiators. Right? For, the, that's right. for the elementary, would they do half of that to Honto or would they do it according You'll to see on the next pages. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yep. So is that something we could but do? I have it broken out more. Is that something I could ask Seth? Ridden, could I ask one of my selectmen to? Can we coordinate a tour of the building with yeah, get the them all FinCom? Like we do every year. I think it's a great idea. Mm-hmm. I, I'm not saying the boy. I don't want to have to trouble the Boylston people to have to go over to Berlin. But well, I'm just saying. Auto anyway. No, just for Boylston. Yeah, I'd, I'd love for them to see the building. We could do a 30 minute tour at BES and then hop over to Tahanto, and then you I think guys you should invite them tonight. At least them, right? Yeah, sure. Mention it. Berlin. Tonight. Berlin. Berlin. Oh, can Berlin. we do that? Yeah, tonight sure. we'll... You, so, yeah. You just keep telling me. I think you're doing great. <laughs> All right, so I will reach out. Because I think it's... That's how I feel. <laughs> <laughs> I will reach right, out. HVAC yeah, for AC? Is, yes. Is. HVAC is, is for a ventilation, yeah. Yeah. So, so uh, I'm just wondering, uh, do, uh, nothing for B at B Berlin. <laughs> you now <laughs> I'm here. No, I'm confused because I really don't care. 
Why, <laughs> why can't you just open the windows and put in a fan? Some of the windows oh, don't I know. open oh, in why not? BES. And because there's that, and also, so some, oh. and also some <laughs> kids have, I have, I have one of my, one of my um, girlfriend's teachers kindergarten, and some of the kids that have um, audio uh, sensory issues, and they can't have the fan. Mm. Mm. <laughs> You also might not be able to hear the teacher over the fan, which is why they're install. They're trying to get the lights. What are those things called? Light speeds. Yeah, light, light speeds. Light speeds, so the kids can hear the teacher. They were approved, and they are being a date's yeah. being set finally. Yeah. But to we be clear, we didn't have electricity back in my day. When the PTO I paid for the light speeds. That is not paid for by the district. I'm learning him. What, why? I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> first, I was he's like, messing <laughs> with you, right? But I didn't not, get that at not, first. Not, 100%. I was like, no, 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 he's asking right, the question. You're asking this questions is that you think people will be people thinking. Yeah, right. The people now who are I get vote it. Are yep. first yes. these yep. Yep. <laughs> the people who are going to vote are going to have these questions. Because now it's we their money. It. Yeah. yeah. Of course. Yeah. Steve Merrow, the highway, he's already sending me pictures of the. Of the weather. <laughs> the snowstorm yeah. coming in. Oh, God. Oh, yeah, I, got oh, I hope we get dumped on. Don't worry. to do this afternoon to prep for that. And then, so. do you see Friday night into Saturday, too? Oh, my too? God. I'm like, nice. Why? Nice. Why? Spring is in four weeks. Hey, look, I just got a snowmobile. I'm all for it. Let's go. It's always how <laughs> March, right? <laughs> That's uh, right. It's poor winter. It's, it's always <laughs> March. I want to snowstorm. I'll drop the kids down on the sled. Yeah. At least it's going to melt quickly. Yeah, exactly. Right. Well, I'm telling the ground just be a wet soccer season. All right. All right. So now we're going to move into revenue. Oh, sorry. Going back to the roof, we don't have the roof in here we understand why because we're going to have the facilities assessment this spring yeah but boylston does need a roof so that has so to be I on don't, the radar so i will tell you this and we did speak with the fincom chair of boylston and they are looking to reserve money for our roof and put it aside okay because they're very aware that that needs to be done oh yeah and that was what he said to me great okay. all right so that's good news that's great yeah excellent thank you all right. So there's no HVAC for BMS. Garland. That's what I meant. I'm Not in this budget. Yeah. Okay. Yep. But I think John had mentioned that their the second floor was mentioned. unbearable. Yeah. So this is our revenue. So the first car category is our state aid revenue, which is our Chapter 70 just came in. Chapter 71, transportation <laughs> aid and charter reimbursement. So it's about a $362,000 increase. So that's good. Yep. Our district revenue, which is our E and D Medicaid investment and miscellaneous, it's going to stay level for right now. Our grants and revolvings are going down by one hundred and sixty-nine thousand. That stinks. We'll, we'll dig into these a little deeper in the next page. Part of this is due to the ESSER funding, and part is just taking less funds. And the assessments came out, so I was able to make these. Now this is based off of this budget that's in this presentation. So for Berlin, it's a 20% increase, and for Boylston, it's a 23% increase is what they will be assessed for, so additional. That's what you're asking for. Yep. That's so not what they've agreed to. Oh, yeah, right. That is correct. Oh, so based right. when you said assessments, I thought this was like tax assessments that they were no, giving. this from, is what the money they would have to need. pay if this budget was approved. Berlin would have to pay 8.5 mil. Yeah, 8.5 million. Boylston would have to pay 13.2. And what it, what number are they willing, or what did they pay last year? Is, Seven and ten. Mm -hmm. This is the actuals from last year yep. that they paid? Yep. So taxes would have to increase, if we got nothing else, taxes would have to increase about 23% in Boylston and 20% in Berlin to make this happen. No. Unless the no. town no, no, can no, find no, some no, more no, money. No no, 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 no. That's not taxes increasing. No. That's the portion of the money going to the schools increasing. Not yes, but if the town increasing. says, I don't, I can only give you exactly <clears throat> what I gave you last year. Th that's a different conversation. But what you're saying, this is yeah. not, this your, is your not property taxes, taxes, are taxes are not going not up. No, yeah, 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 yeah. No, I get that. I no, get that. Right. Yeah. Hopefully they have some money. It just all depends on. It depends on what their budget is. Yes. Mm -hmm. Exactly. We gotta right. get what they well, can afford without yeah, we'll increasing taxes. Tonight, sure. right. 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 But this is just I think for we have this an is idea. for everything or this about. this is for above level and level? Yeah. This is for this in presentation. Presentation one, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Can we talk about that? I wanna hear about that a little more. About what that would be, mean for them. What do you mean? I'm sorry. The increase in taxes. What are they gonna to say to us about this? Oh yeah. From their perspective. When they see this, what does that mean for our how will our taxes be increased? Yeah. We got to ask them that. 
Okay. I don't. That's before you do this so side, he, that's what I'm curious to know from yeah. their side of it. Yeah, that's what we need to ask. So I'm thinking after speaking with. Do you want to wait to the end? Should we go? Keep on. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So after we had after when we were at our meeting with Berlin. Yeah. Um. They said six. Kristen said six to seven percent was kind of where she felt like she could go. That's so right. So my, t I'm not, you know, I don't here. work for the town and I'm not in the tax assessment or anything like that. But my take on, from what I understood from her, was at that point in time, if any, if the, the max they could give was six to seven percent increase from what they gave last year, anything above that, they would have to look at somehow increasing taxes. Like I said, I'm not 100% positive, mm -hmm. and we should clarify that tonight. But that we was my. That's what I want. What that's, I was thinking. I think before this slide is presented, we need the piece of what the towns are able to give because I think we, as a school committee, need to understand the gap. Well, that's, that's and, what the well, conversation is right yes. now. Yes. Right. I think yeah. it's going to, from speaking, we got more information from Berlin. But I think it's a six to seven percent at this right. point in time. Yeah, because that's her, where her two. Versus if she does seven percent, you're right. Versus twenty. There's okay. your nine hundred and something thousand. If it's seven percent, not including. Increase, oh yeah. wait, 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 wait. This includes capital. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, the twenty percent includes yep. capital. Yep. So let me go down a couple more slides. Oh, you didn't give her the capital. So just for operating, ew, it's higher. The capital actually brought it down. It's twenty-two percent. Okay. Yeah, it's twenty two percent for so Berlin instead of. So cut fourteen percent. What does that do? Oh my God, Mike! I, I, That's what you're going to be asked. Yes, your kid will be in class with like thirty kids. It's positions. So whether they need to be or whether million. they're they no, it's are gifted and need here. to be Hold challenged, on. they're not. So I would be cutting fourteen percent of eight. Is that right? So it's yeah. go to page twenty four. We're just looking at operating. Mm -hmm. See oh. the nine hundred and ten thousand. This mm -hmm. is where we are right now for Berlin. Wait, it's your number increase. on that other slide includes was capital. Both capital, right? This okay, is just this is operating. just operating. Right. Okay, so this is right now. It would be twenty-two percent, and they're saying six to seven. This includes capital. That's why you said fourteen percent, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Did they were they included yeah. capital okay, so that's in there? Six to seven percent. Oh no. Okay, they weren't included. Right, they were not. It's 100 grand. They, they weren't were not including capital. capital. Did you already figure it out? That's where she got the 900. I mean, so if if they give a 7% like increase, 22%. It doesn't bring us down. Oh, Nancy well. did this. And do that right. No. <laughs> 910 <laughs> times 0. 0. 0.14. Oh, 0. 0.14. Why are you saying yeah. 910? That's an, oh, you're on the wrong page. Mm -hmm. You're yeah, on the wrong page. She said go to 24. So if she gives us seven percent, right, yeah. they'll give us another four hundred and fifty thousand, okay. which is pretty much what she said. That's what she said at the meeting: four hundred fifty thousand, right? Nine, ten. Yeah. Okay. So then we would be at. Oh, it wasn't okay. So we have to Six, cut four hundred sixty thousand. Hmm. Okay, that's what. Eight. That's just for seven Berlin. Four hundred fifty thousand, right? Is that what I you know. just said? We have to cut. Who cares? Cut them. We're at a loss, right? How many teachers is that? How Seven much is that just for nine. Berlin? Would you Depends say just for that's Berlin? just for Berlin? Four, you'd have to cut four hundred and fifty thousand to do the increase. This is four hundred fifty thousand. Yeah. Where? So a teacher is like teachers. Teachers, yeah, well, eighty thousand goes all the kids in four fifty. Class and that's half. Right, eighty. Yeah, you, know, you that's got five. 40, you know, that's you got six 40, teachers. You'd have to cut forty kids in a class. It's all right. They can handle it. So in Berlin, I'll give you one teacher. Knock the walls down between the rooms. You're good. This is what we keep saying. Oh my God! Where this are we going to go with this? Where can we possibly go with that? We're going to go to a town vote, and we're going to try to get this what money. What did they do last year? The percent increase. What was that? Two, uh, two seven. Point. They did seven last year. So she's saying we can do the same. same this year. Same. No. Yeah. No. No increase. Six to seven. Yeah. She said seven percent. Is that yeah, yeah, the same thing? No, same. Well, they went down. Yeah. Six and well, what? Yeah. I mean, it, yeah. Did they do I a lot more building so in Boyles than the Berlin? Disappointed. Where's the revenue from FedEx? That is what I want to know. 
and Rand Whitney and all those other huge factories that made my house shake but for even a solid like, year. It's clearly even, into the microphone. It's just not even possible despite the special ad increase. It's just... N well, it's Julie, it's going to go to vote. It's happening. It is happening all around. It is going to go to vote. It's going to end up being what the people want because if the t if there's a gap this big and we only we can, we can get the gap down hopefully like this between what the town can give and what the school needs and then there's going to be this gap it's going to be up to the people that's that's going to be what it has to be and the school did 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 uh, come back and do a different budget so you guys did rework the original we've already cut things from we our cut original a lot out of there yeah whole page oh, yep whole page things that we still are going to need at some point sure. in time right we, we went moved. from 26% to 15% right yeah, mm -hmm. so that's great. So it's not like you're not Trying. working, right? Right. Mm -hmm. I mean, the, I I don't. I mean, so Boylston is only going to give you a six percent increase. So we're even in worse shape in Boylston then. Wow. Six. How much is that cut? How much is that? Five hundred. So they're going to give you an extra five hundred eighty thousand. Hold on, nine, six, seven. Did last year they gave us. 11. So 10, and we need 11. Boylston did? Mm-hmm. And now they want six? Where can we go to with that? So we'll be, in Boylston, we'll be a million, one million, eighty-four thousand, eighty-four. One point eight million? Not one point eight, one point oh eight million. And they gave 11% last year. Shy. So how many teachers is one million? <laughs> Oh my God! Thirteen, fourteen. They gave ten percent. We to won't have teachers at the school. Elementary and two percent. Teach time. yourself. Chat GPT. It'll be just a dry and daycare. Chat GPT will teach the kids. How much? What, what was the percentage for uh, Berlin? The, uh, the seven. Seven. Not cheaper. Like what? What did they give to? Actually, seven percent. So wait, why? Boylston gave eleven percent last year. Yep. yep. So why? Ten percent to BES, two percent to Tahunta. So why are they trying to not give that much this year? Is this a question? A Let me tell you, that's a sin. Is this a question that an angry resident can take up with a select board? Probably. Um, they're not even giving the same percent. That, this is, that's what I'm saying, Julie. Mm -hmm. Is it? Can yeah. I take this? So, listen. so I will tell you that I received a phone call this morning that said to me, "We want to maintain a good relationship with the school committee and and the schools." And we're hoping that we can work yeah. this out together. Okay. Otherwise, it's going to create that six percent. Really. So they're saying six percent yeah. is that? That's their olive branch. I love that thing. I don't think so. I think they will work with us. They'll do more. I have a feeling, but not as much as you want. So really right now, we need another million dollars. So okay. yeah. But so a feeling that this will not be good in the long run if we are extremely aggressive with this in the ways that you're talking about. So well, it, it, well for us. Megan, hold on, chill out. It's, chill it's a million dollars, okay? So what do you want to cut? Let's go through it. What do you want to cut? What's the, what's the thing yeah. come want to cut? What do you want? They're going to say that's not that's not our decision. That's your decision. decision. Well, our that's decision is we their need decision. it. We that's, need it. And, 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 I'm sorry, this is a million not including I mean, capital. <clears throat> So we need another three mil for capital total for the district. I feel good about capital, most of it. Because the town, they're, so oh, so they're going to cover the capital. Not all, but a good chunk But I feel it. pretty good about it. Okay. I, 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 and I, worry, I hope I'm right. I worry that we will lose that opportunity in the capital if we, we don't get too aggressive here. If we don't okay. Well, what's, so all right, so what's, what's aggressive? Other moving piece. Uh, aggressive you know, is I, helping I, special needs kids. I it's helping. Yeah, they're trying to work. Of course. Right. But how do you do that? Yeah. With what I you mean, need? With inflation? I, I mean, we don't, we don't control the cost of wanna, yeah, electricity and gas right. and oil. We don't no, these are things that's the what I was trying to say at the beginning. There's right. so much of the spending that we have no control, control of. Over. And this is you know? We, this is exactly it. This is why we, this is why we can't stand to vote. Mm -hmm. Because we had to have this yeah. really difficult conversation because we couldn't possibly go in tomorrow. There's two more slides I want to go out. over. Yeah. Right, really right, serious right. And mm -hmm. difficult conversation. I don't know. We don't know what to do at this point that could possibly without decimating the right. schools. I don't know. I would love to understand. There's still, and again, this is a probably a FinCom question. There's still multiple buildings, huge factories being built up in Boylston, behind where the FedEx is. You can't tell me that those don't bring in at least you know 
five hundred thousand in taxes. I don't know what's the tax rate. I mean, those properties have to be worth you know fifteen twenty million. They're massive warehouses. You can't tell me that their revenue or the tax revenue from some of what what are we doing with that money in Boylston? And why mm-hmm. can't some of that be put toward? Do you know what I'm saying, Julie? Mm-hmm. Okay, so why is this page empty? That's this page. It wasn't completed oh, until I yep. printed gotcha. it. So I got to fill it. Gotcha. It doesn't seem like I don't know if we're getting it or did this time they're getting that money. I don't know if we're else maybe it not is. yet. I thought there was like an abatement or something, yet. or you know what I'm saying. Yeah. So maybe that's something. And if we know, okay, we got to move this off a year or whatever. Maybe we can get a, do- a a generous donation from one of these, you know, I know. Well, that's what we're trying to do. I yes. don't to sound negative. I'm just... No, I know. Just, can we look at school choice? Yeah. So yeah. page 19. Um, yeah. Okay. So for school choice, it, you can see it's forecasted out for each school. So we'll start with um, Berlin. Berlin. So for this year, for fiscal year 24, I'm allocating 176000 to the budget. Much more than we have in the prior years, as you can see. But last year it was 108, and the year before it was 65. So we're trying to increase our revenue as much as we can mm-hmm. to help the towns out. For school choice. Uh, for school choice. Boylston, <laughs> we, we don't have... Mm. We have 100000 left, so I'm just spreading it out amongst the remaining years. Yeah. I mean, I could increase 50000 but that's honestly, doesn't e- it doesn't even make a difference. Eventually, we're going to be out of funds at Boylston. And then Tohanto, you know, you can see I increased that too. I'm, I increased it to 700000 Prior year was 586 and before that was 293 So mm-hmm. we're definitely, I feel that we're doing our part with our revolving accounts to try to substantiate as much additional revenue as we can. Um, That's the only thing for revolving school choice funds. And if you go to the next page on 20, you'll see... Oh, yep. Oh, I'll just skip it. These are, grants. These are the grants in this circuit breaker. So okay. I increased preschool revolving because you proved that preschool teacher at mm. BMS. So that's been added in. Um, and I... It's a little bit, but I increased after school revolving for 5000 from BMS and 10000 from BES for electricity to be applied towards that. You see this Title I grant, I just want to double check on this. I think this is Title IV. Or no, it's 10000 total. Yep. But is Title I? Uh, I think it's more than that. Hold on one sec. I just want to double check. Yep, let's make sure we got it right. That's an, that's the anticipated funding based on the twenty three. Mm. Yeah, I kept them all. All the entitlement grants the same. Um, it's tutors, ELA tutor and the math tutor. Five, ten thousand, five thousand for each school. And how about the hotel? That's another two hundred. Not enough money in it, so it's in the budget. There wasn't enough money in the grant, so I just took five from for each. Oh, for and kept it at ten thousand for this year or next year. Next year, I don't. I, don't, I can look up this year's. So I'm not sure how it was applied. Okay. Okay. All right. Let's look I can look that up and let you know. Um. Yeah. So those are the additional additional slides. So we're just really not getting a ton of from school choice for um, in Boylston. No. Mm-hmm. I don't think they recommended any school choice this year. No. Classes are huge. But you just said you I've were always seen they're recommending more for next year. For no. Tohanto. For Tohanto. Yeah, they Boylston, can't yeah. for Boylston no, because the, the classes, okay. they don't, Tohanto they need well, teachers. Well, it increases your class yeah. sizes. That, that's the problem with having school choice in the elementary schools. Incre- if, if you don't have the room, especially in <coughs> Boylston, it increases your class sizes. Yeah, but yeah, look at this we just, we just, you just talked about cutting assistant principals cutting athletic director cutting math teacher from Tonto. but now uh, you're going to increase not cutting the math teacher not adding, not adding one right so but you're talking about adding to the population adding to the student population without adding staff or teachers you talked about a miserable experience in middle school mm-hmm. at Tahanto. you're going to add kids into that miserable experience without adding the staff to support them and mm-hmm. turn that around and improve that mm-hmm but you're losing enrollment. 
Yeah. It makes up for the enrollment. And at the end of the day, it helps your budget. These but funds, does it help the taxpayers? How much are we spending per student at the Hanto? Eighteen thousand, nineteen thousand, twenty thousand, somewhere in that ballpark. School choice is just such a valuable way to fund your budget. I get it from that perspective, Nancy, but from the other perspective, what are you taking away? from resident kids versus what are you getting you what are you getting anything. into your what are you getting into your budget how much does a school choice bring in for revenue per kid 5000 5000 okay could how be much? more depends if they're a special ed kid but okay, generally 5000 well we're talking about kicking special not kicking special ed out but out of district placement for so special ed take. but now we want to bring them so if we can bring those if we can bring school choice special education in why can't we handle our own special education that's I didn't even know that was an option. All right, number one, number two. Okay, we're spending eighteen thousand. Taxpayers are spending eighteen thousand per student from Berlin and Boylston. Mm -hmm. Now you want to bring in other towns' students who, for whatever reason, choose to come to our school. We're going to get five grand, and the taxpayers from our towns are going to kick in the other thirteen grand. Yeah, why? That's the so way, that's the way. Let me tell you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I I get what you're saying. I know. So for fiscal year 23, for special ed tuition, we have received $441,713. From school choice special From school education? choice. No, just school just choice. school choice, okay. School choice. All right. That's a lot of kids at five grand a kid. That is... Would you say 450K or 440K? That's just Tonto or that's the whole oh, district? 75. That's, that's the whole district. No, that's... 71, 75 kits. Okay. That's 375,000. So and how make, much oh, because if they're special ed, they get some more? Some get more, yeah. So in general, sense. how much do we spend per kid? I don't Way more. School, I don't so. have that. Yeah. It's a lot. Not in the high school. Not necessarily in the high nine school. Nine million or whatever. Because you have so many more classes. That's where it usually levels out. You know? Because you have so many more classes and you have the empty desk. So you're not, hi you're not hiring a new teacher for these kids yeah you're not it's one more book it's you know what i mean no, like no those expenses right those expenses aren't there because it's few and far between and you're losing the kids so it's just one extra body it, we're losing the that's kids, why it's are important that you always do it at revenue? like ninth grade we're losing the kid but are we losing the taxpayer revenue if a kid goes to a private school no. if he goes to no. asabet no. maybe we are right it's all how you look at it Building a budget, I think it's amazing. I get what you're saying. It is amazing. I wish the state would step up the, the five yeah. grand when we're spending 20. Right. I know. Well, I think the other thing about a per pupil expenditure is they should have two per pupil expenditure calculations. One should be, mm. so, because that's probably taking all the fixed and variable costs into consideration, correct? Yep. Yep. When they're doing that calculation, and I haven't looked into it, but so maybe what they should do is, you know, what is like it's just like tax rates your effective tax rate and your marginal tax rate what would be the marginal cost of adding a student because it's going to be different based upon the situation to nancy's point if there's extra space in certain situations or certain classes and we're like oh we can put a kid in here like for example mj's class you know if when they had three teachers in first grade there was only 14 kids in the class right. that teacher is still getting paid the same amount mm -hmm. If they could get five kids to fill that, that's free money for right, us. Right. With what's the spending? To your point, it's a cost of a book. And, right. you know, yes, they're going to use a, a marginal amount of the bathroom and the food and whatever, like the wear and tear on the building. So, I don't know, like there must be a way to figure out a calculation like that. Oh, that would take a ton of time. I would, ha I would have to look <laughs> into it. It would be like a huge right. analysis. You need like a financial well, analysis. That's why you've got to be creative under you, you something. take in your school choice students. Because you want to make sure that's the case you're taking them into. You're taking them into where it's not going to yes, be. Yes, which is why the So you're taking kids in, but not taking away from, let's say, a, a Boylston kid needs extra help. But now you've got a, uh, I don't know, Sterling kid taking away the time that that Boylston kid can get the extra help. That Sterling kid is being paid for by the Boylston parents, and the Boylston kid's not getting the attention. 
I, I agree. Yeah, but you would have the same thing, though, even if, if you had 20 Boylston kids. If you had 20 Boylston kids. They're all, yeah, they're all paying for it, so. Oh, it's so just saying because they're all paying residents, yeah. which it's fine. It's because we're only getting 5000 it's, it's a small, or, small it's, And it's costing. I mean, you want to double that, or the state wants to double or triple that, then fine. And make it one to one, fine. I mean, I can tell you for I know they're not going to do that, but. No, no. I mean, is school choice, like, I, I know a lot of towns don't do it anymore, right? Like, you can't school choice in a Shrewsbury. Can you school choice in a Westboro or Hopkinton? Probably not. So, like, some of the bigger towns. Most yeah. well, schools are limited big to 8th, ni- 9th grade. Right. So, they wouldn't do it in elementary. Mm. We always did it because I think, remember, last year, they Ace pushed for it because then it would be more money that he would, you yeah. know, in Boylston, yeah. um, where he saw gaps. So, I do yeah. think, yeah. to your point... If you find a gap, like, again, like that one specific situation, in first grade they had three teachers and they only had 40 kids. So there was gaps right there. I think he took right. school choice for that grade last year. Right. Um, same thing with that fifth grade. At one point in time they had three teachers for that grade. Um, Here's another way to look right. at it because I always got to go the financial route, right? If you we go We fast forward to fiscal year 28, right? So right now you're, we're receiving 391000 if we do not take any more school choice kids, we'll be at one hundred and seventy nine thousand receiving. Mm-hmm. Just, it, uh, I'm just like we're already in such a hard right. right. Can you imagine? You're saying if we don't and take any more seven hundred thousand, and we just let these the kids go through seven hundred thousand. We'll so yes. what? So what grade are these kids going to go into? What class? The for next year. Yeah. So I think. And is your enrollment history page? Does that already include them? Yes. My enrollment history page includes them. Bear with me for one sec. Yeah, I wish it was more too. I, I think it should be ten thousand. I, I, I agree. Is that with a you. state yes. mandated? So I can tell you for Tahanto, or it should be five, like average. It's right now. It was recommended. Is this okay if I'm talking about this? Yeah, absolutely. Okay. I'm trying to find the elementary okay. one. Okay. Okay. Mm-hmm. Good. Five and seventh grade, ten and ninth grade. Five and tenth grade, and five and eleventh. Yeah, they usually present this with so the budget. So twenty-five total, yeah. right? Yeah, we did this last year. I remember they explained I it. Have that on the and yeah, for the elementary, yeah. Yeah. And the principal would come up with that where they exactly. feel that they have yep. gaps. So yeah, let me hear what they say for the elementary. Yeah. I'd love did you to find the elementary. That's what I'm trying to find. Right yeah. Because you know, you know, BES, yeah, I don't see with the I teachers can. the way they I are. They I don't. Didn't, I thought they didn't do it. Because when they come in elementary, then they're here. I feel. I know Boylston said no. Boylston said no. So Berlin. I think John said, said no, too. no too. I think they both. They can't yeah. because those buildings right. are already overcrowded. They're already <laughs> overcrowded. <laughs> I think the only thing is, if you only really got only eighteen kindergartners, they could take some in the kindergarten. But your point, they're going to go all the way up. Right. Okay, so seventh grade, you're putting a couple in. So in Tahanto, it might make sense. Mm-hmm. Oh, it definitely does. Because you need kids, especially in the ninth mm-hmm. and tenth grade, because you're losing well, a bunch. A bunch. <clears throat> I'd be careful voting on additional school choice at Tonto until I know why the class is losing kids. Are they losing them for something that we can make up for in the future? Or they I don't them think we can compete with Asabet too great, and that's the no. We, what are they, are they all going to last year? Only Berlin you're kids. You're competing with tech nowadays. schools. You're compete, competing with a math and science school. You're competing. We're trying to hire a math teacher. We're trying to get more tech. math and yep. science. We're I'm trying just to. Saying, I just heard you list a whole bunch of stuff. There's right always going to be some kids that go right here. St. John's. Nancy on Tahanto. I heard you list nine hundred forty-four thousand dollars. It's already been cut. Yep. Half of that was math and science stuff. Oh, add that back in, then you don't need school choice kids. I mean, the, right? Because well, then you're not. You're well, no, you're not going to. You're not going to lose but your we, we resident can't. kids. Yeah, John said. Yeah, mm-hmm. Saint John, John right? And, and uh, B S said no as well. Yeah. Okay. No, yeah, we can't put anyone any kids at BES. No, Those perfect. classes are so average no twenty. Too big. No aids. Yeah. I do think things like we're looking at the internship. At Tahanto, I think that is going to make us more attractive. Yep. I think yeah. slowly we're getting there. Yeah, slowly. Yeah, leadership you know? leadership matters. Right. So the, we're having change. the right people in the right place is the first mm-hmm. step yeah. in turning around the climate, the the whole organization. Hundred percent. And and that's what we're trying to do first, and then yeah. you know. But yes, you got to find the right people that are willing to take. I mean, the I money. go to my do- my daughter goes to a tech school. Right, mm-hmm. and I walk in that tech school. I'm telling you, I see 13 3D maker, 3D oh, printers, yeah. so for that, 
You that should see school. this stuff. Okay, so you know? for that tech school, like, is it a private you can school? Compete. No. Are you paying, so well, who's it's paying, like Asabet. So yeah. who's paying, paying the tuition? It. It's Asabet. So, so if you were in Berlin and someone went to Asabet, yeah. Berlin is now paying for that yeah. kid to go to Asabet. Yep. Yeah. Plus absolutely. Berlin is playing right. for the kid absolutely. that you replaced so them with. So this would help school choice. Is that what you're saying? So they're paying, are they paying the full 18 or whatever the number is? I don't know what the number is. Let's just, for conversation, let's say it costs 18 to go there or it costs 18 to go here. Berlin's now paying 18 to send a kid there. We're going to replace that body with a school choice student and get five. Berlin's still going to pay 13. So now Berlin's paying, what yeah. is that, 31 for that yes. one student? Yeah. Yeah. The system's broken. Yes. Yeah, it is. Yeah. So yeah, the system's broken. That's, yeah. Oh my God, how many times have I said that about so many different things lately? <laughs> but and that's a huge problem for us. Healthcare. Because we, we can't just give up that 18. We still need it for the budget. We need and it. Unfortunately, yeah. we can't. We, there's nothing so Berlin's hit twice for the one kid. Right. But the system, there's nothing we can, we can do about yeah. that. No, I know we cannot take school right. choice. No, but then the, the point is, the money. Megan, we can do something about it. We can't do it for 100% of the kids who choose to leave. But if we got a quarter of those kids to stay, what would that do to our budget? Kids staying rather than... Than going somewhere to... You know, if they're going for... If they go to private school, they'll pay, right? So you're just talking yeah. about Asabet alone? Asabet. Yeah. AMSA. Oh, AMSA we still pay? Mm -hmm. You're kidding. Oh, we pay for AMSA? I mean, Boston. we can't put an electric shop or a plumbing shop in our school. Right. We can certainly put a math and science I'm thinking of more with AMSA, not so much do as, as pain, but as losing kids. Right. Competition of why we're losing. Right. right. Yeah. Right. Asabet, the town's paying. Yeah. The town pays for Asabet, Minuteman, and Norfolk. Okay, the votes. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's a lot of kids, right? 11, 11 kids last year only mm -hmm. to ask about 13 or 11. But that's mm -hmm. always, that's, yeah. it was like that when I was in high school, though, I because know. there are people that they don't want to go on the path sure. to college. They want to learn a trade. They mm -hmm. want to become an electrician or a plumber, yeah. and you cannot learn people, that. Those folks schools, schools are college and, and, and it's a great it's thing a great that we have that. For the right kid. Yes, it's just the system needs to account for it better so yeah, that yeah. The, the public schools for the kids that are taking the path to go to college or to what, do whatever they're doing in the public school. So I just want to make sure Isn't, everybody understands yeah. why, you know, a Boylston taxpayer is paying $15,000 for a student from some other town and we're not getting right. reimbursed for it. I just want to make sure people understand that. Yeah. yeah. You know, it's a... I, it makes sense, Mike. It is frustrating. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But what there is nothing anyone in this room can do about it. Oh, yeah. Well, 100% anyway. Or anyone in the town. Oh, the town well, can the vote town to can include give some... Give us more money, then we could have more The town can give us yeah, more money. Have, more in, exactly. Entertaining for right. kids not to leave. Right. The town right. Because that, that's, right. that's the whole point of this improvement right. plan, is to improve Yep. The, the town district. can give us more money. Make yeah. it more enticing. Improve it. Keep people here. Mm -hmm. Build a community. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. All right. It's all full kind circle, of like, isn't it? And that's end of our the day. lens. It's but that's our lens. It's mm -hmm. not... Right. I don't think it's not that they don't have that lens, but it's not their priority. It's not their... No. Right. But it's our They're job to demonstrate that now. And, and that's what, we've been, that and and that's what that. we've been trying to do, and get out there and talk yeah. to, you know, about yes. to these different groups. We have more pl places yep, we're going to. But... Right, their lens is the more than half population in Boylston that's elderly, yeah. that might be living on fixed income, <laughs> that doesn't kids. have children in the schools, right? right. Um, that's who they're, that's who and so I, I they, get the point do. of view, but at the same point in time, you know, like to your point, we, we are a community, and if we don't all start acting that way, everybody has to give a little bit more, then things you are know, just going to crumble. If you don't teach these kids financial literacy, they're not going to graduate knowing anything about money, you're going to have harder conversations like this in the future when they're in position to be voting and running this mm -hmm. town, and they're not going mm -hmm. to understand it, then those elderly are going to be out of luck, because they're not going to have people who know what they're doing to right. help out with their housing and services and everything else, because yeah. they're not going to understand it. A 25-year-old couple this past week didn't know how to get a bank check to pay a freaking rent deposit. Didn't know how to get a bank check. Mm, it's just the simplest. Yeah. Oh, trust me. I should see what I see on the tax Stanley. returns. That's what we, Did you we, have to teach them Stanley. how to do get the bank? I got this. I'm, I'm sure they get. Did we talk about that last time you were here? No. Oh. 
very popular. It's oh, it is? My daughter loves her Stanley. Oh, really? We name it Stanley. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Were you done with the presentation? Yeah. You did a great presentation. <laughs> this is good, Nancy. Uh, yeah. So it do you guys want to keep it uh, yep. as is? Anything you want to uh, Oh, no. I thought you were going to keep this. I'm like, yes, no, I want to yes. keep this. Assistant and take principal notes back in. Put the teachers back in. No, just kidding. That's what I, I want. I mean, it sounds like it sounds like no. it's going to end up being less than this anyway. So might as well keep. Yeah, it's going to be less than this. It looks like. Yeah. So I think. Uh, well, I don't even know. I am still thinking. I don't know what you could cut from this, to be honest. I, that's. I don't know. What we've been, that's exactly. What so we're it's going to end up being what an override. What can you cut from this? this? All this we've been honestly even this weekend. We're like, what week can we possibly cut? So you think about. I don't know. It's like yeah. we looked at everything. We looked at some positions we might be able to rearrange, but I can't talk about that right, right now. Right. Mm -hmm. yeah. Public, but we have some ideas, but nothing that's going to be drastic. That's no, going to be great. I mean, so yeah, I mean, I think the big thing is that, yeah, there's this is a good solid budget. There's a few things missing. I'm hoping that we'll be able to get them in next year, but if it gets to a point where we have to do, and I think that was the point Adam tried to make a year ago, if we do, if it does get to a point where taxpayers have to vote and taxes have to be increased. Why not just have it all in there at once? <laughs> because right. people aren't going to vote two years in a row for their taxes to increase. So that's the thing about the assistant yeah. principal and the teacher that we might, you know, we're thinking about two, three years down the road. Well, the couple mm -hmm. teachers we need in a year. What happens if we do have to go to vote and, you know, and it does pass? Well, sure as hell, they're not going to want to vote a second year in a row. Oh, we need yeah. a teacher and we need this and we need that. And, oh, costs are still going up we're not going to be able to do two votes in a row. So I guess that's my only thing about leaving stuff out. If, if this is really looking like, yes, this is going to go to a vote, what's the cost of assistant principal and two teachers spread across a tax base? I think, I think in a better climate when we didn't have such a high increase in special education costs, we would have had a better chance to do this. Yes. That's, the, that's right. unfortunate. Of course. I mean, that's the, that's the issue. Yeah. That's, it's, it's extraordinary. The amount that we're paying, other districts are paying. You're hearing that all over. Yes, it's all but over. It's, There's Facebook yeah. posts. People are, and it's people are out there. They're campaigning. Yeah, yeah. MSC has got a lot of yeah. conversation yeah, going on that. about yeah. that. Yeah. See that. Because they so don't what have are a the choice. towns? What are the towns year over year given? Is it is it generally in that seven percent? Mm -hmm. um, they that's that's so, six to seven. Yeah. Percent. But if so inflation higher, is higher than we usual. Right, right, yeah, right. I would say that's what doesn't. I mean, even the, take the special ed piece out totally. There, there, there's the electric. That's there's there's just inflation. Everything's every percent. Everything. 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 So how, how, how can the department say, well, you have to go back to the drawing board when, like you said, these 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 are increases that you don't have any control that's over. That's how the towns cut. That's how school yeah. districts cut people. Mm. That's what they end up doing. Right, and we cut. Wilson cut several years ago. Significantly, especially in the special education department, we've been just trying to replenish that to get back to the baseline again. The past couple of years, because so many people were cut, paraprofessional special educators. Wow, we, did, we haven't done it historically. Mm -hmm. yeah. Less so in Berlin, less so in Toronto, but Boylston particularly. I wonder about. why. <laughs> I think you had a school campus, choice applied in Boylston, too. Mm -hmm. That's made Well, the building's older, so there's mm -hmm. less space. I mean, even in the classroom right now, 20 kids in my son's classroom, the teacher's like, I, she has them all at tables, but it's just not working. Like, she has to get desks in, and then the classroom, you can't even walk with desks in the room. Yeah. But she's like, I can't, the behavior is awful with them all, all at tables. Right, the other day. So she has to switch it up. So, I mean... Uh, you know, again, you're in situations like that. It's an older building. The classrooms aren't that big. Mm -hmm. They're all oh, you. You saw the building. It's crowded with stuff. Mm -hmm. I wish I could go in. I'm a huge organ. Yeah. Set, you know what I mean? If we got some of that, then we'd have more space. But to Mike's yeah. point, there's the building. We're outgrowing some yeah. of these buildings. Right. I don't, I so don't I just. And they're all inside that too. The school is the the building is open. But the classrooms are smaller. They're smaller. Right. Mm -hmm. They right. wasn't built for that many children. No. How they Not enough cubbies. No. 18, John told us. Yeah. Yep. It's a small, and yeah. And we certainly couldn't add other te more teachers on. Where There's no other rooms to There's no rooms. Yeah. There's no more rooms. Yeah. Two rooms per class, rooms. 18 kids per room. Yeah. That was the plan. Was and the plan. you had probably, what, 12 or 13 kids at the time per room? Hmm. Probably. Now you're at 21? Yeah. 
Hmm. They didn't anticipate the growth to be so quick. I don't know why, because they approved the building. Can they add on to that building? I mean, it's still a beautiful build. I wonder if yeah, they add on built with that. They're going to have to at yeah, some point. Could, that could, could, yeah, yeah, let's talk about that tonight too. No, yeah. let's not bring that up. That's <laughs> that's a, that's for when um, Megan's off the school committee. I think my kids are out of the wall. It's probably going to be. Oh, so it's, it's, all about, it's all about you. Honestly. I'm here for the kids. I'm fighting, I'm fighting for this battle. This battle. Let's get this battle going. It's <laughs> just crazy. Oh my God! All, All right. right. Is someone well, we didn't have one. Well, on we had agenda. one other thing, Nancy. Do you want to talk about substitute teacher pay after all this, or is this sure? All right. Yes. <laughs> so, um, it's a, a, this like, should be a brief. Like my cousin in New York gets one hundred fifty dollars a day. He should be a certified teacher. I'm wow. Like, what? Wow. So, as you know, we're Should having trouble. We that? have <laughs> trouble finding substitutes. Mm -hmm. um, I did benchmarking. And we currently are at ninety-five dollars for substitutes, and we would like to recommend to the committee to go to a hundred dollars. Um, Can I ask you something along those lines, though? Yeah. Is there is it possible to vary those those amounts so that you would get a certified teacher? Yeah, for some a schools amount? do do that. Mm -hmm. Some some do it for a. Retired teacher, certified, mm -hmm. and yeah. They've been asking. There have been yep. teachers who have asked, retired yep. teachers, at, at least yep. at Burlington, who have asked about that for Absolutely. years. Absolutely, yeah. I think it's a great idea. So, so if you're retired, you get so 100, if you're retired, you get 100 and... 25. 10, yeah. 25, yeah. So if we're saying 100, probably... Well, it depends. So we're at 95. So we're at 95, and then we could do... If you're certified retired or not and then non so we could do like a hundred and a hundred and ten what do you guys think well you said you did some benchmarking so what are what are the benchmarks yeah that's what i was doing let me find it most of the ones i saw were there were those different tiers i didn't bring it but i she I presented it? yes i she did, did. Right? we were the oh. lowest is it? Yeah, we yeah, weren't getting Did I do it at the last meeting? Yeah, I think okay. shoes. Re, uh, we did like the surrounding towns, Clinton. It was on one of those. No, wasn't that the last meeting? It was like a couple. I think it was a while ago. It was a while ago. It was like when Adam was still here. Wasn't yeah, I think it was when Adam was still here. It was like a while ago. It was like in the fall, I think. It was in the fall. It was on one of those spreadsheets we did. Oh, I was like, nice. Yeah, with all the. Uh, yeah, it was like on one of those uh, where you like had called all the other towns, towns. But it was like spreadsheets. Clinton and Marlboro features. and all that. Oh, here it is. Okay. Yeah. No, that's not it. That's pure professional. Substitutes. That's okay. why it was on that so one. So yeah. right here it is. West Boylston's 110 a day. North Burl, South Burl's 110 a day. Shrewsbury's 140. Hudson's 100, Clinton's 100, Marlboro's 110, Neshoba's 100. We are 95. Yeah, we should definitely go. Uh, uh, any, are there any of those um, certified or retired teacher, or is it just a flat rate there for those? Marlboro with, with certified 120. Ah, mm -hmm. uh, yeah. And they have the long term rates too. Yeah. And what is the one for if they're not certified? What do they get? 110. 10? Just as a retired, wait. How about oh, 110. How about 120 and 100? Yeah. We could do 120 and 100. My only question is, so you we could, just you talked about how we have no money. Are we able to do, but this is just, what, marginal? It's not. So you would pay certified teacher 120 and a certified retired and a retired teacher 120. 120. Okay. And then you pay just somebody who's not certified, maybe who comes in and fills as a para. Yep. <coughs> matter your you think it's what say it. do you have the money for it <laughs> I'm nervous with the 120 <coughs> without increasing my budget bucket for next year do you want me to do how about 110 and 100 That's 115 <laughs> it's like, <laughs> it's oh like oh let's make goodness. a deal <laughs> what is our majority of how many subs are, are they yeah. retired good question Burl and historically is 
schools yeah. and I'm trying to think. Uh, mm. No, I think they're not necessarily parents. Wouldn't you say they're parents? A lot of parents. Because, well, parents, parents lately have stepped in. Yeah. Um, yeah we have like one or two retired, but I think they do it. Tahanto, we need to be attractive. We got to do it. Teachers who are from Tahanto don't get any. But again, we talked about this too. Same as the paras. I think sometimes with that, it's about. Um, well, we've got yeah, we've got a, a couple of retired that are great, but I think it's about wanting to be in the building. So it's about that atmosphere, that vibe, that <coughs> you know um, of wanting to be there. So I think if we have the right leader in place, mm -hmm. that will create that environment. Um, so. Um, and the parents, you know, I think parents, they're not doing it for the money. They're doing it to help out the kids' school. Yeah, and they love to see the kids love having mom and dad at school in elementary school. And But does that help them learn? Oh, I would never sub my kids' class. You Definitely. would never sub in your kids' no, class? No, no. I, well, would. I, mean, I wouldn't. It would be dire. Well, not long term. Like, if they need someone, oh, like yeah. someone's sick, I'm sure I'll fill in for the day. But my son would. Maddie, maybe. I mean, after, after 20 days, their rate goes up. Yeah. After twenty consecutive, yeah. Yeah. That's After twenty days, yeah, that's gotta be a BA zero. I thought yeah. we changed that. Though. That's like a maternity leave. BA zero. That's the lowest level of the team. That's like an uh, entry step, level teacher. I mean, it's step zero. It's like somebody that just has their BA. Well, as we learned this from oh contract. No, but how? Why, why would that be a sub? Yeah. If it's Is a long term rate? sub, they get it's the hourly rate of a BA zero. Uh, so they would sorry, take that yeah, salary, yeah, break it yeah, down yeah, to yeah, an not yeah, an hourly. Yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah, they would so take that salary, break it down to a daily rate, sub, and they would pay that. Ends up, they end up got it. Or a weekly or whatever. They get that rate. That's their rate. What's a competitive rate that's going to get good people in here that aren't going to cause problems in the school and they are going to continue the learning and not cause a disruption, whatever, all that? I think being on par with the right. surrounding towns. Okay, 100 bucks. I think 100 and 115 is fine. I think 120 is good for retired. She just says she doesn't think oh, she can swing that. 101, 101, 10, 115, is that what it is? You're going to pay a retired teacher 10 more dollars than a... No, Someone I'm, I'm that has no question. educational experience, I would pay the retired teacher. 100 and 120. will be fine. Yeah, I would pay them $20. Okay. It's not like everyone's I mean, going to be 120. Exactly. Be It'll be I don't think people are subbing between. for the money because when you take the taxes out at the end of the day. So now I have another one. About well, if they're not subbing for the money, then why do we need to change it at all? I'll yeah, sub in food two. service after tax season. I'm just busy on for Tuesdays. this month. I'll do it Tuesdays after tax season. I'll do <laughs> oh, April, May, and June. People there? Oh, man, really? I could do April, May, and June. But should we increase the rate? For there also. Yeah, I think yes. Didn't we already vote on that last time? Didn't we just do something with food? Or that's just their. We general. gave them just their general the pay. Right? Yeah. We increased. What do they get every yeah. day? The ninety-five. They're getting ninety-five too. Mm -hmm. That's for. Let me just increase it to a hundred. But that yes. shift is only seven hours, so. I think it's ninety. Are you there seven hours? Well, I wasn't there. You got to prep everything, right? They don't really do. They really need someone for do seven hours on a Tuesday. Lunch is over by like no. seven. I think yeah, she said. Ten fifty-six. Couple six hours. To half. Is it six and a half? Yeah. I think she said they max. Get, yeah. It's not magic, Julie. You don't just Why show don't up. Why don't I find there. out? More. I get that. I work in, in, work. in restaurants, but Fancy. I think it's very different there. It's very different there. I'll sub to Hanto. You don't have to pay me. All right, I'll do it every Tuesday. I can't do it right, in March. All right, but that doesn't, that doesn't solve the long term problem. No, it's not. It, it's going to get us through the end of the year. Oh, maybe Wendy will know how much we pay us. But I, when we, aren't we trying to hire someone for that role? We're waiting for someone to come back from something? Probably not. Yeah, trying. I mean, hopefully we'll ha have someone for the next school year. <laughs> what do you do, the register? Have a great day. Enjoy like, your carrots. You have an allergy. See, we call it Stanley. See, she found Stanley. Oh this yeah, that's <laughs> just been in my bag the whole time. Mom. <laughs> yeah, we were looking. Of course, for it has been. That's where water bottles exist <laughs> in your bag. All they right. live there. All right, so All right, you want 120? Why don't we? Oh, she just or read it. So Wendy should be replying. Sorry, guys. That's okay. 95 a day for food service sub is what we pay right now. It is 95 a day. For 6.5 yeah. hours. Oh, it is 6.5 hours. Wow, all right. And that's what a teach teacher's... Yeah, that's, that's, the same. that's less than minimum wage. No, it's not. It's fourteen sixty one an hour. Minimum wage is 15 bucks an hour, isn't it? It is. No, it's not. It's like, it is that much? 100 divided by 6.5 hours. It's 15.38. It's just over minimum wage. 
what do you pay the subs on a 1099? 1099, the subs you don't give them a debit. You might as well get it to, if so it's you okay can do whatever you, you want, you don't have to do minimum wage. Uh, to match the 100 since we're increasing it at least. Mm -hmm. if, are you okay with that? Sure. Okay. <laughs> yeah. 100 bucks a day. Yeah. All right. Um, how, 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 how close is that to their salary? Yeah, Julie, they make like a little bit more than minimum wage. So remember we talked about oh, this? No, I remember what I'm saying point. is... Is it more? Oh, like, yeah. Wait. Is it... Yeah, they would... It might be more. Yeah, they would, they would strike. Yeah. Now go back to that page you had with all the salaries. With the 20... What did we give? A 50 mm. cent an hour raise? It'd yeah. be like pennies lower than there. Great. So, so, the the sub. Yeah, so it'd be more beneficial to be on a sub. sub. Unless they have insurance. Do we provide any benefits? Yeah, unless they need insurance. Mm -hmm. Really, yeah, you'd have to. And well, the well, pension. Difference. Well, that well, does make a difference. They all don't get it. Does that's what I mean. If your husband they don't get the state your wife, pension you don't need working it. in the cafeteria. Yeah, they work such minimum hours. And they all don't qualify for benefits. Oh, Because well, some, they all don't work six, they all, 6.5 hours. It's really not the oh, yeah. hours, quite honestly. Yeah. Okay, we got to keep it at the 95. Okay. Because I would until you find that, yeah, and then we can, stuff. yeah. Right. Again, yes. people aren't doing those mm -hmm. jobs yeah. for money. They're doing it if it's a good environment. They want right. to be around their kids. So yeah. if you have the right person yeah. leading the ship and it's a good environment, I mm -hmm. think you'll get. And this information people. is out there publicly for people to know, like community members. Why can't like a nana go in and sub? That'd be wonderful. Right. Yeah. I don't know yeah. that people know this. It needs to be no, put on Facebook. Yeah. Yeah. You just have to go. Yeah. Yeah. I, mean, I think well, somebody would know. You can't put it on Facebook. Maybe at 19 card. Or we could could we put that on Facebook? We could. It would but be I mean, great. the world does revolve around Facebook. They would love it. They would love it. They would love it. But like you want your grandma you to come in and work in the whole day. You don't necessarily have to do the whole three hours a day. Right. Right. You do the three hours. Just do prep work or cash register, anything. Yeah, chew the fat The register is a little fast. Yep. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. You put a little bit more prominently in the newsletter, maybe. <laughs> Wait, you have an allergy. You put it a little bit more prominently in the newsletter. You know, throwing it out there. True. Yeah. Newsletter. I did that already. You know, put it at the top. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You never know, though. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Looking for something to do? Come help. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right. Is that all we got? Yeah. So, future agenda items where. When do we want to meet him at again? Going to party. When? Okay, let me look. All right, let's check. Um, school committee meeting is March 7th. Thank you. So, I mean, do we need to meet again before this meeting? Or do we think, I feel like this is good. I mean, I think a lot depends on what happens. Tomorrow. Well, we have to see what happens. Do you think I should add a slide if we find out be 7th? Four what the towns are anticipating on giving us so when everyone makes their vote they know where we stand yes Is, are you guys okay with that if i add that in yes if you have it yeah, we yeah. Need, if, if we, we have, have it yeah. but i mean i think we need that information to make the vote i did tell the individual today we cannot do six percent good good so yeah we'll start from there okay um so I'm hoping we hear back from Boylston to meet, but we could meet at six. We have a policy set to meet from nine to ten. Yeah. Monday, and March sixth. Who's on that? Mike, are you on? Yeah. That? Yeah, Mike's on. We could do ten to eleven, twelve. Is that? Could be quick. Maybe come? we'll have nothing. Quick. Maybe we will. Yeah. But as needed. We as okay. Needed, yeah. Do you want to do it March sixth as needed? Ten to eleven. Ten to eleven. All right. Are they trying to schedule the both of them together that day too, right? Um, um, right. Berlin and I think that's what they were explaining. They were going to try to maybe meet with Boylston Fincom and the Berlin Fincom on the sixth at night, though. Oh, wait, night. They were waiting. Okay, so um, I'd like to move to adjourn the meeting. So moved. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Nice.